All right. Welcome back, everyone, to Curse of the Vistani. Oh, I did not change my stream title. <laughs> or that game. Help. I did yep. yesterday. Uh, <laughs> and I have sounds. So we have to use sound check for media. Real quick. What yeah, episode um, is this? 39. 39. I do already? it for you because Cobot's no longer authorized. Oh, really? <laughs> You have to re-log into Cobot at some point. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, it audio is working. My code's working. Meteor audio check successful. Perfect. I can see my my audio okay. going, so it is fixed. <laughs> Angel, thank you for the 65 month resub. Okay. Oh, so. One question first. Firebutt, yes. have we done cross chat? <clears throat> Does not appear so. Cross chat, please. Okay, we're good. Okay. Go so, ahead, Peter. <laughs> we are back from a three week break. Yay. When last we left off. You guys had just finished fighting a group of ghosts. Like a little ghost girl who tried to kill you. After well, which... Was that really the last time? Yeah. After which wow. you buried their bones and set back off. Said some prayers. Yeah, said some prayers. You set off because you didn't want to make camp there and found a better spot to make camp. And yes. during the middle of the night, Saflin, you woke up from your sleep to find your tent empty. Upon venturing out of your tent, you found everyone else sitting around the fire, laughing, having a good time, but you couldn't hear them. In fact, yeah, y'all are laughing and silent. It's kind of creepy. In fact, the there, there's a disturbing amount of silence. There, you don't really hear anything right now. What would you like to do? Um. Well, first off, you said that you said the dome does not appear to be anywhere. Right. Which is the dome is not there. Uh I'm gonna cast dancing lights. And send a light towards them and see if anything happens. Okay. You cast dancing lights. Uh just one orb or multiple? I'm gonna I'm gonna conjure all three. Okay. I'm gonna keep one beside me. Alright. Uh, send one towards the campfire and send one in a random direction. Okay. Um so you cast dancing lights and keep one next to yourself, send one off and send another one in with everyone else, right? Yes. Uh, no one else seems to be reacting to it. And the lights seem dimmer than usual. You've cast this many times, so you know how bright they're supposed to be. And they seem much dimmer. Something's fishy. Hmm. And when I cast the one by me, I sent it back behind me. Anything? Nothing. Uh, what exactly are you looking for? I'm wondering if there's a shadow or any movement behind me now that I'm not looking behind me. Um, roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, not, you see nothing. not my strong suit right now. I'm a you little, uh, little frazzled. Yeah. This is kind of throwing you for a loop. Like your your friends just don't seem to notice you. You like get up in their face, kind of like wave your hands in it, and it, it's as if they're staring right through you, as if they don't see you whatsoever. I'm gonna minor illusion. Okay. I'm gonna cast minor illusion, which is another one of my uh my cantrips. All right. And I'm gonna cast a minor illusion and give all of them silly mustaches. <laughs> Really? Okay. Me. <laughs> All right, so you 
uh, cast an illusion of mustaches on all of their faces. And they start laughing, but it doesn't seem like they're laughing at that. It looks like they're laughing at something that Aurora said. And I'm gonna you, you let still the... can't hear. I'm going to alter the illusion and let the mustaches fade into flower petals and then disappear. <laughs> All right. All right, so they fade into flower petals and then just disappear. Uh, as you're um, doing this, out of the silence, a high-pitched ringing noise pierces your ears. Before there was silence, and now it's just this high-pitched ringing noise. Oh. And then just kind of kind of look around, try to see if I can discern if there's a direction that it's coming from, or if it's just in my ears. All right, roll perception for me. Okay, this is going to go with, wonderfully. With advantage. Sure. Oh, okay, I get to roll again. <laughs> mm -hmm. My rolls have been not well, wonderful it's today. It's not bad. So you, you're you looking around for the source of this piercing noise in your ears. And as you're looking out past the fire, past your friends, off in the distance you see this red glow. This eerie red glow. And when you look at it, the, the piercing ring dulls. Send one of the dancing lights right at it. Okay. Um, so you send the dancing light over to it, and the glow from it overpowers the glow from your dancing lights. Interesting. And your, your dancing light almost kind of disappears in the glow huh. of red. I'm going to call out and be like, hello? Is anyone there? No response. Cast message. Same thing. Hello, is anyone there? <laughs> you hear nothing back. Uh, this is eerie. Is eerie. They always tell you not to go towards the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Um, let's see. What would you like to do? I'm looking at my spells real quick. Okay. And said nothing seems to be in the same space as me. Every Everything else has been... Doesn't seem as bright as it should be, or doesn't seem as there as it should be. Right, and... Uh, your your friends also seem like a little duller than usual. Not not as much color to them. Huh. Okay. Oh no, Safi's depressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Checking how many charges I have on my staff right now. Okay. Not enough left that I want to use it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about doing a locate animal or plants, but that would put me a little too low on charges right now. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so instead, I will uh, slowly approach okay. the red light. Okay. So you slowly approach. And once you get up to it, you, the, the glowing seems to be coming from the ground, like from something on the ground. Okay, um. Do you, do you get will... close to it? How close am I to it right now? Um, I'd say you're about six feet away right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
do a short performance to calm my nerves so I can okay. trigger counter charm before I do this. Okay. <laughs> sure. And then uh, I'm going roll me performance. to Okay. See how well you calm yourself down. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, that it's very calming on your nerves. Okay. <laughs> um and I will Let's see. I'm assuming there's not anything near me, so I will. I was trying to see if there was a way that I could touch it without touching it, which I guess I could use the edge of my cloak as a barrier. Mm -hmm. So I'm not Movable touching stick. it barehanded. A movable stick. Yeah. Uh... You just don't, don't have you to have hit the one... button. I think I do have one in the bag of holding, yeah. And he said he had my things. So. Uh, yeah, I will go ahead and use the immovable rod to okay. poke it. <laughs> All right, so you get close enough to poke it with an immovable rod, uh, which they're, they're not all that big, so uh, you'd have to get pretty close. Yeah, um, I still have to be pretty close to it. And getting close enough to poke it with the immovable rod, you notice that it's mushrooms. These aren't... Oh, okay. Like any mushrooms you've ever seen before. Um. And you you poke at them and they they react as you would expect mushrooms to react to being poked. <laughs> they just depress a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and take out, uh, we had some extra flask in the bag of holding, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and try to scoop one into a flask. Okay, uh, roll me a either nature or survival check. Um, nature is slightly higher bonus. That was Doesn't exactly the I DC keep rolling. Needed. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I keep rolling like below a 10. <laughs> right? Yeah, so 10 was what I was looking for. So uh, you are able to pick them and put them into a flask without much issue. Okay. Um, as you cork it, um, a new ring loud piercing ring uh pierces your ears yet again oh seriously whoever's doing that that's really annoying and it, if you keep looking uh in the same direction that you were another red glow off in the distance appears Someone's going to look back at her friends, because if she keeps going towards these red glows, she's going to be moving away from them. You look back at your friends, and they are gone. Not even the tent or the campfire are still there. Well, no way to go forward, I guess. Uh, so I will start heading towards the other red glow. Okay. So you head towards the new red glow. Yet again, you find a small patch of these red glowing mushrooms. And another one lights up even further. And you go to that one, and another one lights up even further. Almost as if they're beckoning you to follow. It's just a continuous trail. Okay, um... I'm going to take out my gift okay. of the assorted shiny rocks okay. that I bought when I first uh, came to Rockford. Mm -hmm. I remember those. And I I'm going to start well. taking out one shiny rock at a time and leaving them behind me like breadcrumbs. Okay. All right, so you, as you are following these... Yeah, As I'm standing between two of the lights, can I see the light behind me and the rock? Yes. Okay. 
Um, I, and then I, what about when I get to the next light? <laughs> yeah, I'd say as you're following the lights, you can see the one that you just left, but the one before that, you can no longer see. So you can kind of see the one you're at, the one behind you, and the one in front of you all at the same time. Or at any given okay. time. <laughs> so you, right. you're following these mm -hmm. mushrooms, you're leaving your pebbles... One by one by one. It seems like you're following them forever. You're about to get to the last rock in your bag when you spot a cave. Cast a message in Dancing Lights again to send some kind of notice into that cave. So send the light, followed by a hello, is anyone there? I appear to be lost. You still receive no response. But the mushrooms seem to be leading you inside the cave. Do the mushrooms that I've scooped inside the flask, is it still glowing inside the flask? Um, yeah, they're still glowing inside the flask. Okay. Because I probably would have tried to scoop one up at each stop so that I could count how many. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, you could do that. I have multiple flasks if needed, if one gets too full. I also yeah, have the bag of colding on my person. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd be able to, with, with your ten, you can get as many mushrooms as you need. Okay. Yeah, I figure one from each point along the pathway so I know how many I followed. That makes sense. So, so I don't go mad trying to <laughs> lose track, you know? Fair enough. That's an easy enough task. Yep. All right, All so... Right. I will head towards the cave if I hear no response. Okay. So you head into the cave. You kind of get to the opening and, like, cautiously peek your head in. Does the light appear dimmer here? Um... The dancing light? Uh, it seems as dim as it was before, yes. Okay, so no noticeable change, though. Correct. Um, but as you poke your head into the cave, the cave itself has, like, a slight red glow to it. Would you like to go in? You said I was down to my last pebble in the bag? Yep. My last rock? Yep. Throw the rock in. Okay. Throw the rock in, try to skip it against the ground, and count. <laughs> clack, 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 clack. Okay. Nothing else seems to happen. Alright. Well, I will uh, cautiously head into the cave. Alright. So you walk into the cave... I'm using my staff it, as a walking stick. As you're getting to the cave, you are you have dark vision, right? Uh, yes. 60 feet of dark vision. Okay. So your, your eyes start adjusting to the darkness in this cave. And it seems like it's just a singular room. You walk further in, and then... <laughs> lights... Light up around the ring of the cave. Fill with an eerie red glow. And in the center of the cave is a pedestal with a golden goblet on top. Okay. You did say there, goblet, right? Goblet. Is there anything in okay. in the goblet? So a cup. Yeah, it's a chalice, essentially. Yeah. Yep. It's a fancy cup. Yep. So you you go up to the pedestal and take a look into the goblet. Uh, first thing you notice before even uh, looking into the goblet, uh, what you didn't notice before, there's also a knife lying next to the goblet. And it's 
difficult to tell without really inspecting it, but from looking at it, the blade is red. You're, you're not sure if the, the metal that it's made out of is red, or if it's just stained red. I'm not liking where this is going. And when you look into <laughs> the goblet, it contains a viscous red liquid. Is this some sort of blood sacrifice? That's kind of what this is sounding like, yes. <laughs> Not too happy about that. Hello, my child. Oh, no. Um, Saflin's gonna look for the source of the voice. You look for the source of the voice. And you see stepping out from seemingly nowhere this devilish female presence with horns not too dissimilar from your own hi i was wondering when i'd find someone here i seem to have been turned around hi you're really pretty would you like a flower a flower. Can't and I'll up pull one of the flowers before. from my horns. Sure. And offer the flower. She reaches out. She walks up to you. Reaches out and grabs the flower from your hand. Mm -hmm. How lovely. Thank you. Of course. So, um, hi, so, I'm, I'm Saflin, who are you? Oh, I think you know who I am. I certainly know who you are, Saflin. I don't know, I, I don't... I haven't really met too many like me. The name is Glazia, darling. So, Meteor, mm -hmm. knowing that in my backstory, mm -hmm. um, the, the pact that was made in my family was long enough ago mm -hmm. that my parents were surprised when I came out of Tiefling. Right. Would this ring any bells for me whatsoever? Uh, roll me history. <laughs> With advantage. Fifteen. Okay. So she says the name Glazia, and you get this slight memory of your like great grandparent telling you some kind of story about one of your descendants making a deal with a demon known as Glazia. But you always thought it was just a story. And yet, here she stands in front of you. She's got like a real slender frame, these devilish looking wings, a long tail, and her eyes look like they're staring right into your soul. Oh, well, I must admit, uh, I wasn't really expecting a visit from you. I didn't think, well, to be honest, I didn't think I was that important. <laughs> you seem busy. Oh, I am, darling. But you have caught my eye. I see... Great potential in you. Is it the music thing or is it the the <laughs> flowers? I, mm. Mm. I do make a lot of friends. It's a little bit of everything. <laughs> I like you. 
You have. Oh, I, you seem a, nice. I like you too. You have just a touch of mischief to you. But you are definitely powerful. When she says uh, mischief, Saflin is trying to, behind her back, uh, gesture a minor illusion into place. Okay. My brain went to pixie sticks. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I don't think she'd fall for that. So what is... No, I'm just trying to create an illusion behind Glossia of uh, little, like, little bunny ears and also just a bunch of little flowers <laughs> just popping up around her, behind her, just silently. You <laughs> do that and she turns and looks at her. Does it follow her head, or...? Yes, it, it stays with her. <laughs> Amusing. I have been watching you, Saflin. But I have some questions. You've shown such promise, and yet... You don't seem to be fulfilling it. What do you mean? Why didn't you kill Joram? I I mean, it wouldn't have been very satisfying for the villagers, would it? But it would have. It's been better that they get to you. pass judgment. No, I'm I'm pretty happy with just having him not be my problem anymore. You didn't seem to have a problem when you killed the Haas. Or when you killed Joram's though. followers. So why not him? I would have preferred not to kill anybody, but they weren't going to let us leave. I see. Sorry. <laughs> so, if he had you backed into a corner, then you would have killed him. If it was my survival or his, then yeah, I, I wouldn't let him hurt me or my friends. Even though he was persecuting your own kind? Well, and see, that's the thing. If I killed him, wouldn't I be proving him right? Through that. But you would be preventing the persecution. No, because the then others. if it got out that I killed him, then they'd have a reason to hit the tieflings and it wouldn't fix anything. Roll persuasion. <laughs> okay. Do I get advantage <laughs> or anything? Nope. <laughs> okay. Nat 20. Whew. I guess that makes some sense. I still think you have yet to meet your full potential. I mean, I'm I'm still fairly fairly young. I I'm sure that I have a ways to go. How would you like a taste of my power to help get you there? That depends, I suppose. Would this be a kindness as a friend, or are you looking for something in return? Oh, I would ask for something in return. Is this a pact? Shh. <laughs> We would come to an agreement. You do something for me, and I give you my power. I don't suppose you'd be willing to tell me what the saver I'd be doing for you is. Of course. 
See, because I won't agree to anything blindly that may hurt my friends. What I want right now is to see you reach your potential. And what so do you think my potential ask, is? All I would ask of you is to kill Alenka. Didn't we plan on doing that anyway? <laughs> That's my fun. <laughs> I thought we were trying to do that to begin with. I'm, I'm like sat here like half listening because I know it's to do with Safi and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, and we meant to be killing her anyway. <laughs> I thought that was the goal of this d, &D. <laughs> Anyways. I get back to, I gotta get back to the character now, you just killed it. <laughs> Ah. Okay. <laughs> so Saffron's kind of conflicted because yes, it's, it's kind of where this was gonna end up going, but she was still kind of hoping for a less bloody mm -hmm. result. Um, she kind of sees the indecision in your eyes, and she adds. After all, she did almost kill you just to make a point to someone else. To be fair, there was no it almost. She definitely did. did. <laughs> there was no almost there. You you were unconscious and on death saving throws, but right. You didn't completely die. <laughs> ran in and say, but. <laughs> Um, I'd like you to be the one who does the killing blow. Oh. It's kind hey, of hard. I don't to do that. It's kind Sorry. of hard. We have a lot of heavy hitters in our party. I can't guarantee I'll get there first. Well, as long as you do your best. So that's your bargain, then? That you give me bargain. a taste of power, and I do my best to ensure that Alenka dies, and that it's at my hands? Yes. I don't want you going easy on her this time. No bargaining. Just kill her. What do you get out of this? Why is this important to you? As I said, I see great potential in you. I merely want to see it come to fruition. I want all of my children to see their full potential. So that's, that's what you think the best thing I can do is become a murderer? That's my ultimate potential? Not just a murderer. I don't want you murdering left and right. But when someone like that has wronged you, why show mercy? Is it she wants... the vengeance you're after? Uh... Or is it justice? Hmm, I like to think of it more as justice. She walks okay. over to the altar and she picks up the dagger, grabs it by the blade, and holds it out to you. So what do you say? Would you like my blessing? Okay, I just need to level with you here because I really need to know. Okay. Is this in character or out of character? This is in character okay. still. Okay. Um, I just really need to know. Is the knife always that color? or is? Because that just seems really unsanitary. Mm. So would you like gaudy. me to clean it first? It would make me feel better. She holds out her hand, and the blade seems to glow red hot. And like a mist, a red mist of vapor 
seems to like evaporate off of it. And then the the red glow to it subsides and you have now a pristine looking dagger. It's probably blood. Out of character, I am 100% certain it was blood. <laughs> <laughs> and then she touches the the part that was just glowing red hot and holds it in her hand and offers you the handle. Saflin is just thinking so hard about the holy water that she just bought that's in the bag of holding, and she's like, no. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Um, uh, she's going to go ahead and reach her hand out towards the handle, but fall mm -hmm. short. Okay. To, she's kind of testing. Is Glossia going to be patient enough to let her make this decision, or is she going to nudge the handle against her kind of thing? Her is hand does push? not move. Okay. She is waiting on you. Be a voluntary bargain. Okay. Um, is this going to be a pact? I, it might. I don't 100% know, but it, it could be the start of one. Um, and Saplin is going <laughs> to think about her friends at, back at the campfire and think about Alenka. And how much harm she's already done. And would getting rid of her really be so bad? Mm -hmm. So just kind of reaching a decision here. Mm -hmm. And telling herself that she's not going to pursue vengeance, but she will pursue justice. She will grasp the handle. Okay. So you grasp the handle. She lets it go. I just need you to put some of your blood in this chalice. And then our deal will be complete. And this deal is for a taste? It is. And before Saplin can think about it too much, she's going to slash the inside of her palm and let it drip into the chalice. All right. You slash the inside of your palm. And give your hand, like, a squeeze above the chalice as your blood pours out and drips into the chalice. One drop, two drops, three drops. You just let it hang there for a second until the blood stops. It says, you've made a good choice, my child. Now wake up. And you sit up, and you are back in your tent. Immediately look at my palm. Your palm has a large cut. Great. Um, Saflin is going to... Uh, I'm assuming this is, would count as the long rest. Yes, I'm just you may asking all long rest now. Self. Yep, you okay. may all long rest now. Saflin's going to immediately use disguise self to hide the scar. Okay. Are you? Can you not cure wounds it so it's not bleeding all over the place? Oh, well, it's um, it's a scar. It's not bleeding. Oh, scar. Okay. Uh, Saflin, I would also like you to uh, decrease your max HP. Okay. By. 10. Jeez, that's not good. It will go back up with each rest by 5 points. 
Okay, let me override max HP. And I would like you to refresh your character sheet and take a look at your feats. Okay. You but can her say it's not what got slashed, <laughs> it was her hand. You can say what's there or not. Um Ah it is up to you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna long rest before I do anything else now. Yep. Now, can I have a minute to fix my spells before we move forward? Yeah. Because I've been wanting to change them and I keep forgetting. Yep, go for it. Um, we'll keep uh, role-playing while you do that. Okay. So. Second question, Meteor. Mm-hmm. Is the flower I gave Glossy I'm missing from my horns? Um, and does she have the mushrooms? That that's and the third marbles. question. Yes. The pebbles. We'll say yes. The flower is missing from your horns. Okay. Basically, I would be using my disguise self to alter anything that looks this physically different. Okay. <laughs> on my person. Um, okay. Um. So I would have an illusion of the flower, have the scar covered on my hand. Okay. And then I would dig through the bag of holding for the uh, assorted shiny rocks and the flask with the mushrooms. The rocks are still there. All of them? All of them are still there. Do I pull up the flask with the mushrooms or is it just an empty flask? It is an empty flask. Okay. Um, and it is still early morning. Uh, no one else has really woken up yet. All right. So Son is poking her head into the tent. So I'm just kind of gonna kind of rub at my eyes, like mm -hmm. I'm kind of waking up, kind of bleary eyed. Okay. And and look at Son and be like, "Oh, is it breakfast time already?" Mm-hmm. Okay. I gotta go um, bomb. Son. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to go food in my mouth. <laughs> um, you, you come up to Saffron's mm -hmm. tent, and there are some yep. weird mushrooms growing around it. Some weird red mushrooms. Ooh, mushrooms. Um, Saff, why do you have mushrooms outside your tent? They weren't there earlier. I have no idea. I had the weirdest dream. Oh. Okay. Anyway, grab I'll, I'll tell you all about it later. Talon's decided to make food. Yeah! And no one, a useful stick. And no one's been poisoned yet? Stick. I have a knife! <laughs> no one's been stabbed He's just, yet. like, waving it around. I I'm gonna walk over to Callan, <laughs> smack him in the back of the head, and be like, Callan, put the it, it comes like within an inch of slicing his head. <laughs> so yeah, he's waving I'm it. Definitely gonna smack him. <laughs> Make sure he didn't cook any of the mushrooms, please. He didn't. Okay, good. Yeah, I he, tried he's not cooking him. any mushrooms. I got distracted. I need that meat though. I'll uh, pull out the bag of colding and hand it over. Okay. I'm good now, by the way. Thank you. He pulls out some of the meat you have stored in and starts cooking it up. I'll also kind of watch what he's doing with the meat, and when he's not looking, I'll take some spices out of the uh, spice pouch <laughs> and season the meat. <laughs> he's, like, attempting to season it, but you can tell he's doing a really bad job at it. Yep, so I'm just kind yep. of adding to it. <laughs> you would think after this long on the road together, he would know how to fucking cook. <laughs> well, he knows how to cook, just not well. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, Safling, please come and make breakfast. So, <laughs> yeah. roll me a survival check to Ooh, see okay. how well you can fix this dish. Uh, and with advantage, since you're using those spices. 
Okay, good, because I'm not rolling well today. Hey. 20. That's pretty good. So you, you like, whenever he's not looking, you just put a dash of this, a dash of that, in to really spruce it up. And uh, I'm going to roll... Uh, and ro- roll me stealth as well. Okay. Or either stealth or sleight of hand, whichever you'd like. It's the same bonus. Okay. Literally will not matter. Alright, 22. That's definitely going to beat his passive perception. Um, so yeah, uh, every time he turns away, you put a dash of this in there. And then he turns away again, you put a dash of that in. And... He's just tasting it along the way, like, oh, wow, I'm getting much better at this. <laughs> I'm just Here, I, Saflin, I'm taste, my head. taste. And he, like, shoves a spoonful of it into your mouth. I'll take a tiny bite and take advantage of him <laughs> giving me the spoon to bump him over and continue the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Morrow, sick him. Ah, what? No, I'm cooking! <laughs> That's definitely one way to wake the group up. <laughs> and with it's that, everyone else wakes up one by, like, one by one by like, one. I'll look what's up from the tent screaming? and be like, Callan, stop screaming! <laughs> Tell Morrow to get away! He's, t- he's chasing me! Morrow, sit. On top of Callan. Ah, no! Ah! <laughs> it just continues Poor to Callan. run circles around the pot. Uh, yeah, Morrow can just tackle him and sit on him. Alright. Um, so, breakfast is now served. Uh, you guys have a delightful breakfast. What would you guys like to do? Laugh at Callan. <laughs> Continue on our way. You have much fun at Callan's expense this morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after we're rested, continuing is probably the best idea. Okay. Uh, Saflin, what is kind of your thought process as this morning goes on? After that? My night? thought process is I want to tell them what happened, but not now and not here. Okay. And I probably want to seek out Aurora first. Talk to him alone. Okay. So before I bring it up to the rest of the group. I so I'll be looking actually... for an opportunity to do that. Okay. I don't know if he's actually back yet or not. So. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing <laughs> it now. <laughs> um, do you want to do anything with the mushrooms? The ones around my tent? Yep. Have I been able to decipher what these mushrooms are outside of the weird things that were in my dream? They, they do look exactly like the ones in your dream. Uh but you still have no idea what kind of mushrooms they are. So I have no idea if they're poisonous. Great. Right. Remember, I have my field guide. I was gonna yeah, say, I'll... Uh... And... Lily, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, gonna say, does somebody... Because uh... I also have base survival, but I don't have an advantage or an asset or anything like that. Um, I don't have a, a reference. Um, mm-hmm. would be like, a... anybody know if these are edible? What would we need to roll? Survival. Um, survival or nature? Well, yeah, Depending survival on. or nature. Uh, since you have the book, you could roll with advantage. No, okay. Lilia has the book. Yeah, uh, whoever, whoever has the book can roll with rolling. advantage. My roll's on. Nature or survival, whichever is better. Thirteen, thirteen. Yeah, survival guide. These up. mushrooms are abyssal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it says mine was a 14. I don't know why it's not. And okay. then I'll just roll an unassisted one. Oh, there we go. 22. Now I'm getting the goals, the rolls I need. <laughs> why are my rolls not high? Are you clicked on your character? Okay. Or we need to have a chat in a little bit. Okay. What's up? Uh, okay, so first off, uh, with a 22, 
you you kind of take the book that she has that has all these mushrooms and stuff in it and you're flipping through it like kind of comparing and you get to the last page and none of them match okay well, since since they're not listed uh i'm i'm gonna go with uh they're probably not safe or at least untested uh i i, I could cast identify on them sure sure <laughs> Take file one. Alright, so Callan is gonna ritually cast Identify. While he's spending the ten minutes to do that. Yep. Uh, I will pull Aurora to the side and be like, can we talk? Hmm. Yes. What's bothering you? I had a really weird dream. I see. And when I woke up, the wound that I had in the dream was a scar on my hand. And I will lower the disguise self over my hand and show him. It's kind of let a little bit of a, so a, you... bit of a shocked breath expression, kind of like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, like, you look at her that. you look at her hand and it is this like deep gash across her hand. Goodness. And it, it's like not bleeding, which is kind of weird with how deep it is. Because it's definitely not closed up. Mm -hmm. What has caused this? This is so bizarre. I, I met somebody who looked a lot like me. In my dream, and you were you were there, but you weren't. You seemed to be like <laughs> laughing and and together, but I couldn't hear you, and you couldn't seem to hear or see me. And there were these mushrooms, yeah. kind of like the ones outside my tent right now, and they lit up. And when I followed them, I there there was this person who looked like me, and they there was this dagger and this goblet and. They, they offered me something if I agreed to try to kill Olenka, and it didn't seem like they were going to let me leave without giving them a yes. It's bizarre. I've never experienced or heard of such things before. So I think I might have entered into some kind of a pact. I'm honestly a little worried about it. Perhaps sounds like some kind of pact that you may have made that may have been made with a demon of some sort. I simply cannot understand such things. I've never run across such things before. It is bizarre that it would come to you in a dream and not in reality. But perhaps I, perhaps yeah. that plane is more accessible to them. I, I guess, but I guess I just wanted to ask you to. I don't. I don't know what this is gonna do, if anything. So could you just keep an eye on me? I guess. Yes, I would be happy to do so. Yeah. And if something seems weird, let me know. <laughs> yes, I will certainly keep in tune with that. Thank you for alerting me. So at least. I'm aware of it, and it's not suddenly something yeah, I, that is going to I come I didn't want to hide this from the group, but I also didn't want to alarm people immediately in case it's not really anything to be worried about right now. But... It is... Certainly, it's something that could be latent and dormant and may even not appear now. It may appear at some other time. We should certainly keep an eye on it and make sure that it's nothing serious. Yeah, like if if for some reason you're 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 a holy person, you have a pretty good gauge on if someone's good or evil, right? Right. So if I if I start going into the evil side, could you please let me know? I'm a little worried. Mm -hmm. I believe I can do so. I don't want to be evil. I just want to make friends. They have cookies That's there. Understandable. 
I was just about to say, come to the, the dark, dark side. side I, have cookies. <laughs> I will. I will say, my friends, that there's probably if this is indeed a pact, and you will have a price to pay, so to speak, later. There's probably hmm. very little that I can immediately do. That's. Well, I mean, she to told me what the price put. was. What did she tell you it was? She told me that when we confront Alenka, we need to try to kill her, and she wants me to have the killing blow if at all possible. I see. I at least... She wants... It was kind of weird. It, it sounded like she wanted me to stand up for myself and take vengeance for myself because Alenka kind of killed me. It was strange. Something seems afoot here. There may be other forces beyond our knowledge at play here. Perhaps someone who has had issue with Alenka in the past. Yeah, maybe she just really doesn't like Alenka. I mean, she did She did take one of my flowers when I offered it, so that means we're probably friends, right? <laughs> All right. These things, sometimes they can be more deceptive than we want. We should be on guard. Okay. Not that perhaps your your judgment is incorrect. I simply would like to be safe for all of us. Right. Right. Oh. There are oh, things and... that there are creatures out there, mm -hmm. beasts in the wild, back where I'm from, that play dead. And when mm. you get close enough, they leap to life. Interesting. Just, just to trap you to get your prey to get their prey. Scave well, that's kind of mean. Scav scavengers, they're strange beasts. Mm -hmm. They've taught oh. me very carefully that you must never simply yeah. look at something and assume that right. it is what it is. And I'm going to hand him my palm and be like, I did make her clean the blood off the dagger first, so it shouldn't be infected, but is this okay to you? <laughs> yeah. It Didn't you looks be asking the medicine fine, for that? <laughs> but I'm not, I would have to tell you first. I am not the most, I am not the greatest with dealing with medicines, but. It is strange. You would think okay. a, a cut this deep would, would bleed, but yet it is simply there. I like that one of her biggest worries is simply, is it infection? infection? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yes. Okay. And Meteor, out of, out of curiosity, uh -huh. when if Sapling clenches her fist, does it hurt? Um... A little, but not as much as you expect it to. Okay. So there's some soreness there. Son steals Callan's bacon. Okay. Like, it's, it's actually, like, fairly minimal. Like, looking at it, you would think it would hurt a lot. It's just like a tingle to let you know what's there. Yeah. Yeah. Just a reminder. Man, I hope this isn't one of those things where when it gets really cold, it's going to hurt. Oh, it suck. Mm. Well, those I'll have to buy some gloves. Tells you the weather. <laughs> I'll have to buy some gloves. Hey, that would be a way to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. So that's really all I wanted to talk about. So we can go back to the group. Got okay. it. It's identified. Oh. Oh. What there. is it? Uh well, it's called a bleeding tooth mushroom. I'll pull out my What a lovely book. name. <laughs> and, and it it doesn't grow on this plane. What plane does it grow on? Uh it grows on from like... the nine hells. Grows on Nine Hell's Plane. What is it doing here? Marks in my book. <laughs> that one will collect it. All right. You, and put it you, in the bag of holding. You can add bleeding tooth <laughs> mushrooms to your bag. There's an actual okay. item you can add. Can I has one to test with poisons? Yeah, so I will hand you one. <laughs> yeah, I would like one too. Alan would actually know, uh, since he used Identify, he, he would pretty much know everything about this. Um, mm -hmm. so, they cause the I'm consumer like... to roll a con save, and if they fail, 
they take 2d10 plus 10 poison damage Ooh. and gain vulnerability to slashing and piercing for 2d6 hours. Ooh. And on a successful ta- save, they take half as much uh, and gain poison slashing damage. vulnerability. Yeah. How many has she got? Um, it's a good question. How many did I pick up? I, I want some. Or how there, many there? It, it's kind of like a ring around your tent. Not like a solid ring, but there's like a couple splashed around here and there. So, so there's probably like um, seven or eight. Roll, roll me to survival to see how... How many I can pick without yeah. causing a problem. Those are pretty good. I, with that, I'd say you get like 10 to 12. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I want to roll for one, too. Uh, all, all together, about ten. No, that was that was that was the entire collection. Yeah. So I have ten, and I gave you each one because you both expressed interest in having one. I'm gonna pout at Saflin and see if she'll give. Because <laughs> poisons. Later, it's poison, but it makes them harder to damage. So I don't know that we want that. Okay, we'll see how they many. They gain vulnerability or resistance? To vulnerability. vulnerability. Yeah, it doesn't oh, make okay. them harder to kill. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, we... play with that one first, save, and then we'll revisit. Or a failed save is vulnerability to piercing and slashing. Failed right. is just vulnerability to poison. slashing. And, and they're both can... poison damage, yeah. Yep. And it could be dealt with a weapon, or has to specifically be ingested? I believe it's ingested, currently. Ingested. Okay. Uh, in this form. That's you, why I was saying you might saying, be able well, to refine it. it. In food. Yeah, you might and be you able to refine it. it. In a way, but well, I was saying they could experiment with uh, pulverizing it and crushing it and trying to make it something that was contact. Okay. Um, and depending on that success, I can give you more. <laughs> how'd I do? Um. What? Tell me what you're tr- exactly you are trying to do to it. Uh, what Zaf said, make it into like a contact <laughs> poison. And are you chopping it up? Are you like grinding it into powder? I'm gonna chop it into pieces, and I'll use like little bits to do are you like wearing grinding. gloves. Yes, I'm wearing gloves. Are you wearing a mask? Uh, you said you're using are... the bits to what? I'm gonna cut it into like different sections, and then some of it I'll crush, some of it I'll like grind down to a paste. So. Yes, okay. I'm going to wear gloves and a mask. I've got a poisonous. So, you are able to chop it into bits. To smaller bits. You try to crush it, and it turns to ash. Okay. So, no crushing. But can the ash still do stuff? Hmm, that's true. Uh, the ash appears to just be ash. Okay. Like, not even mushroom ash. Just ash. Ash, ash. Okay. Catch him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about the other stuff? Uh, which other stuff? Why'd you have to put me on the spot with this? Dang it. I don't know. Well, you have to be Dang specific. It. I don't know how to freaking make poison. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to make poisons. Um, so generally, with I'm the, the poison, you could mix it with other poisons. Yeah, generally, um, with making a poison like that, you would it would require crushing. Yeah. And breaking it down even more. So at the moment, you do not make a successful poison, but you do have smaller chunks of the mushroom. Okay. Which still have the same effect. I wonder if you can mix it with other things to make it more potent. Do we still have those dream lilies? Yes, we do. Yeah. I yeah. believe you do have some. Who's got the dream lilies? Oh, Lily, nice. I have them. I have some. Yeah, okay. you have a few. I have one single lily. So I can mess with stuff. we also still have the spider venom sacks too Ooh, yeah and that too I I, we it. don't have many yeah i think nene has all of the spider stuff currently okay. i don't have any and of it we have one 
Oh, okay. So, then no. Sorry, I'm oh, not I'm letting that be tested on yet. <laughs> That's fine. I will just take a dream lily and yep. I will see what I can make. If all us fails, wonder... find another rogue in the city we're going to and ask them. That is very true. I wonder if I could produce a dream lily with my staff. Ooh, that's a good point. I'll have to try that one day. Mm-hmm. The staff that you still Safi haven't knowing. shown Safflin. <laughs> yes, I don't mm-hmm. want Safi knowing that I have it yet. Yep. <laughs> I'm waiting for a sad Safi to produce flowers for. <laughs> <laughs> a perturbed uh, Safi. It will happen today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I was about to say, ironically, that's probably right now, but you yep. don't know that. <laughs> yep. Kink is just um, put, how do you know that name? She's your stillborn twin. What? Well, that's because I, I commented, I just realized my nightly call to my mom is going to have to include the question, do you know a lady named Glossia in it? Mm. Yep. <laughs> All right, are we going to carry on traveling? <clears throat> yep. Yep. Okay. You guys set off. Um, you get back on the road, uh, Aurora at the helm, as per usual. And I'll be picking, uh, Callan's brain for all the information about that mushroom while we're driving and trying to scribble into my book. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's when I would have been working on the potion while we were traveling. Well, okay. I'll have to wait to talk to Lilia then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, okay, then I'll finish with Callan. Because I'm not going to talk to Lilia with anyone else in the vicinity. So it will wait. All right, so... Then, I was just going to say, I guess that when I finish with Callan, done the scribbling <laughs> in the book, I'll go sit down. No, it'll, it'll wait till we're at the next stop. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so you continue down the road. Um... And at a certain point, the road curves to the right, kind of like does a sharp curve to the right. But um, looking at your map, it looks like you need to keep going straight if you're going to the lake. Do we have an overland map that gives us an idea, or are we still in headspace? Uh, I can pull up the map for you to show you where you are. Roughly. Uh, um, on one second. All right. So you guys are right there just before that river okay so okay. what would you like to do I'm assuming we have to... Is there a road going towards where we're trying to go? No. So we'd be off-roading it. Mm-hmm. All right, so where are we at? Uh, here, I will... Around here, he said. Okay, so way over there. You're like, right. right there. And we're heading towards Serpent Lake, I think is what yep. we had said. Yeah, so there's no easy way to get there. We have to cross the river, essentially, and such. What do we? Maybe there's a bridge across the river? Probably not. If not, we may be able to make one. But knife. Yeah. Depends how big the river is, but yeah. Or if there's a shallower part of the river, the horses might be willing to ford across it. I might say a bridge over troubled water. As long as it's uh, slow moving water. Alright, so what do you guys do? Okay. 
Any more chips? Uh, I will. I will say going forward, the the horses <clears throat> the horses wouldn't have much trouble going forward. It's it doesn't look to be rough terrain. So There's just no and carriage and everything is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I I think we'd probably just cross. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So instead of turning right, you continue forward uh, towards where the river is supposed to be. Um, you travel a few minutes, and then on the horizon, Aurora, ev everyone else is still back in the back, kind of like chit-chatting, not paying attention. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, roll me perception. Okay. 14. Okay. So, off in the distance, you see what appears to be flowers lots of flowers hmm i am um... it's in the same direction that you're going i am immediately curious about where all of these flowers came from do you point them out to anyone yes i kind of nudge nudge everyone who's around me and just kind of like very quietly point and I'm just like look look up ahead and Saflin oh just stars in her eyes <laughs> yeah a as she you're getting closer and closer this appears to be an entire field full of flowers Any ranging from small to flower? large it's Saflin heaven dozens of different it really types is. Yeah, Saflin like, this immediately is Saflin heaven. runs runs ahead, jumps out of the cart, runs ahead, <laughs> does not go fully into the flowers, but is on the edge of them. Mm -hmm. And she wants to try to identify any of the nearby flowers, if there's any species she recognizes. There's tons of species you recognize. She is a collector. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. There, there is just flowers galore of like every type you could think of. Saplin is going to use... Oh, that reminds me. I need to recharge my staff. Some of them are even as large as you. That reminds me. I need to recharge my, my things, too. <laughs> Whoa! Nine charges back. That was a really good roll. Yeah, that's great. I think that's a five. That's full. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's full. Yeah. Good job. So Saplin's going to cast eight, Speak with two. Plants. Okay. What do you say to them? Hello. Hi. Um, there's a lot of you here. We're we're looking for Serpent Lake. Are we going in the right direction? Um, so as you cast it and start asking this, you hear <laughs> like a melodious singing coming from all of the flowers around you. Oh. Um is she the only one who can hear the singing, or is this like yes, something she, we can she's she's the only one that can hear the singing. Okay. Is it is it okay if I take one of you with me? Sure. As long as it Come makes out. you happy. And to to your previous question about the lake, uh, what's a lake? Big body of water. Oh, I think the lake's just over there then. Okay. And I'll scoop up a few of the flowers gently. Okay. Uh, you, you go to scoop them up and you're like, yay! And continue singing. <laughs> okay, and I'll affix a few to my horns and braid a few into my hair. <laughs> These seem to be very happy flowers. Yep. And I ask consent first, so it's okay. <laughs> have to ask consent consent is important. <laughs> um but yeah and i'm like guys they say the lake is this way if we keep going they seem very cheerful mm. 
That's kind of that uh, little grunt. And I'm like, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe that's the most I say at this point. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty, pretty good radius uh, need a user. So, so I would probably be asking the ones closer to the hill that actually could see. Uh, or they, so, or they would talk amongst themselves and pass the message back and forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, what are the rest of you doing? There's just this giant field of flowers that Saflin has ran into. I'm looking for her to make sure she doesn't get lost. <laughs> okay. And uh, to to give like a closer picture of what you're seeing, it there there are all are all sorts of different flowers, but like. Just looking at the whole thing, it's kind of like a rosy color overall. It's like this Are there pinkish any rose. Butterflies? Oh yeah, there's plenty of butterflies. Oh, I will chase a butterfly. Like you, you, you could find a butterfly wherever you look, basically. Saplin is looking around and waiting to try to catch Curio having a Disney princess moment. <laughs> I'm kind of just like processing all of this and just like use put my thinking cap on. Okay. In uh, part because Aurora attracts he's 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 got survivalist experience, right? Yes. He's he's been out, he's he knows this and something not like a perception, like an evil feeling. Something mm -hmm. doesn't seem right about this. Do you have All proficiency in survival? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And yeah. Something. Something feels like it's off to you. Yeah. Like he. Like he knows Saflin. He's he's been around long enough. He knows Saflin. He knows he she likes flowers. And all of a sudden, like. We're in a flower flowers. field. We're in like this perfect place for her. <laughs> After and she's just said that, hey, this evil thing has attacked me, right? Mm -hmm. That I thought I could in my dream. This thing happened, and I, can you okay. keep an eye on it? And it's just like thing. It's not like he's like perceiving evil, but he's kind of like perceiving that on edge. Something is very interesting here okay. and it's so you it's are like you are keeping suspicion. an eye on everything there's okay. a lot of suspicion right now that we that just mind. magically came across this it's too coincidental Aplin is like oh. super happy right now because uh son is attempting to make yeah. a flower crown <laughs> she's doing a very bad job at it <laughs> she's trying though it's it, the she, she's definitely trying I'm gonna uh. slip some slight of hand into the hook. <laughs> I might have a question. Yeah. All right. I'll, I was I'll gonna say, that. could any of the flowers possibly be used in potions? Yeah. Uh, stuff like that? That's what I was gonna ask. Can I be looking around with you at the field guide and see Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can uh roll either survival or nature with advantage to try and identify some beneficial flowers. Uh, 20. That's pretty good. 20. Yeah. Um, you're able to identify some flowers that could be used for health potions. Okay, I got a 17 and a 5. Okay. I'll pick some of the flowers and stick them what, in my vials what, in my herbalism kit. What kind are you looking for, Son? Because, <laughs> remember, she's the only one who needs the flowers. I need them for my poison kit. Okay. So I'm looking for anything that's got the poison. Lily is looking for healing. Son's looking for poison. I was looking for either, technically. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. okay. There, and I'm also trying to make a flower. Very, very cool. Oddly enough, th there's a bunch of different types of flowers here, but none really that are poisonous. Damn it! Or any edible that we can maybe throw in our food. Uh, yeah, you could find a few edible ones in there. Sure. Saplin could probably answer that flat out for you. To be yeah. completely honest, <laughs> yeah, that one and that one and that one, <laughs> yeah. And uh, all, all the while, Callan, like... Callan's just kind of frolicking and like he like lay like 
uh, just like stretches out and then like falls flat on his back and like is doing flower angels. Meteor. <laughs> uh huh. Tell me that while Curio is trying to have his Disney princess moment, Callan is actually having one. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of butterflies just <laughs> land on top of him. He's like, I think oh, yes. Would just be sat. <laughs> yep, that would be a Callan thing. <laughs> oh. I, I'm satisfied. Aurora. So I'll go up to yes. Safi. Uh, okay, you are kind of just keeping a, an open view of everything that's going on. Just keeping your eye on everything. Yeah. Roll me perception with advantage. All right. And add your proficiency modifier. And what's your modifier? Uh. Oh, that would be like the... Shoot. Yeah, proficiency it, it's modifier. labeled proficiency. It's right top. above initiative. Oh, okay. Uh, plus three, so so fifteen. Okay. Yep. All right. So everyone else is like frolicking and chasing butterflies, picking flowers, and you notice some movement. I'm going to raise my eyebrow. Among the flowers. Mm hmm Kind of raise my it, eyebrow. It's kind of off, yeah. off to the side, a little ways away from everyone. Mm -hmm. So I kind of um, noticed that some of the flowers are, like, moving a little bit. Yeah, yeah I, can't, it, I can't, probably can't see what's moving, but I just kind of, like, right. It, notice It's that. interesting, because it, it seems to be, like, moving as if... The, the flowers are moving as if someone's moving through them, but you do not see anything there. Can I hear the flowers saying anything? Um, they they're just still singing at the moment. Okay. Um, while this is going on, I would probably approach Lilia mm -hmm. and uh try to hand her like a flower bracelet, and then I'd probably like clench my hand instinctively and just kind of go ow. <laughs> <laughs> and as she does that, I'll grab her hand and take a look at it. <laughs> Uh, do you have your Ow. disguise up? Yeah, uh, I I dropped it. I haven't put it back. Okay. All right. So, so she you, can see the scar. Yeah, you take the her hand, and you see this big gash across to it. And I'll yeah. just look at her, like wide eyed, and look back down at her hand, and look up at her, and be yeah, like, "Yeah, and I'm gonna be like, don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out." I woke and up like, like this. Like, don't freak out. Could what you happens? look at it for me? I just woke up with it like this. So, I guess medicine check? Okay. Uh, yeah, you could do a medicine check to... With or without advantage. What, what, what are you trying to do with your medicine check? Let's start with that. Well, first, uh, just generally gauge what, what I can from it. If it's infected, like, do I need to heal it? What what can I do? Um, all right, so yeah, go ahead and roll medicine with advantage. Are you proficient with medicine? You gave me the medicine feat. Oh, is that good? I guess that's it's a healer feat, yes. Yeah. Okay, the healer feet. then add your proficiency modifier as well. Okay, which is plus three, so 18. All right, so uh, looking at it, um. It does not look infected. It just looks like a big open gash, um, which you would expect to be bleeding, but it is not. Which is odd, which is why I'm yes. trying to inspect it. Yep. Uh, but, but that's about what you can tell from <laughs> inspecting it. Okay, can uh, I... Yeah. <laughs> would doing a cure wounds <laughs> heal anything? You can try. Read your healer's feet. Uh, where is it? Should be in your features and traits at the bottom. Uh, when you use the healer's kit to stabilize dying creature, also gain one HP. You can spend one use of your healer's kit to tend to restore. HP uh, plus HP equals to. So if you wanted to use the healer's kit charge instead of a spell, 
That way you're not wasting a spell slot if it doesn't work. Don't forget I also have the wand. Yeah. I am going to try and do with wand okay. a cure wounds. Okay. So you cast cure wounds and it uh, what what does your cure wounds look like when you cast it? Basically, I picture it as a light yellowy white glow. Okay. All right. So, you you use your wand and cast cure wounds on her hand. Her hand glows a white yellowy glow, and nothing happens. Okay, that is weird. It does use gonna, the spell, though. I'm gonna look at Lilia and be like, I'm gonna do something that might be stupid. Can you just stay here for a second? Okay, looks at her confused. I'm gonna pull out the, the vial of holy water that I purchased. And okay. I'm gonna let a drop fall on the cut. On the scar. Huh. Sorry, give me a second to think. I'm going to say nothing happens. Okay. There was a chance that I would be screaming in pain, so I'm glad that that didn't happen. Yeah, I'm going to say okay. nothing happens. For <laughs> okay. That, that, that made me think for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, that didn't do anything. It's not. What did I miss? Oh, you're not over there yet. Yeah, you're not in this conversation with it. Oh, okay. So I think the other thing that I will do, I wonder if I could m use my herbalism kit to make some sort of a salve to help it not be as painful. Do you Just think that would be something I could uh, do? Yeah, roll medicine with advantage plus proficiency. I'll be like, I don't know if I can heal this, but yeah, I I recently realized I haven't been having you guys add proficiency to anything, so I'm trying to be better ah. about that. <laughs> I mean, it's built into our character. yeah, it's built into the skill checks. Oh, is it? Yeah. I believe yes. Yeah. yeah, if we're proficient in a skill, it's included in that check. Yeah. Is it? Like my my acrobatics is plus seven, but my dex is only plus four. The plus seven is the plus four plus my plus three proficiency. Yeah, so if you look at mine, I'm gonna do an athletics right now and I'm proficient but not expertise in that. So mm -hmm. you should be able to see the calculation there. It does the plus three. Is the plus three your proficiency? Yes. Oh, okay. So I'm just having you do proficiency twice. Okay. Which is what happens when you do expertise. Gotcha. Okay. So I wasn't doing things Ex wrong. Expertise is That's double nice. your proficiency bonus added gotcha. to it. Okay. Which is why my performance check is stupid. Okay. So yeah, basically I'm just going to try and make a salve to help with any stinging pain that she could okay. put on. Um, With an 11, yeah. Uh, you're, you're able to make a nice little salve and uh, apply it to the wound. And it, it does take some of the sting away, sapling. And then that bandage feel a bit her better. hand up a little bit. Yeah, just to hold the sound. Wrap, wrap it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do I'm that. I'm concerned. This is I'll... weird. I think I know what caused this, and I'll explain it to the group later. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't immediately something that needed <coughs> to be dealt with. I'm worried. But I'll talk to the entire group now that I've done that. I already had Aurora look it over, too. I'll just look at her even more concerned, and I'm just like, I I'm speechless and confused. I'm like, I can't heal this. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just like, what do I do? We've gone from distressed Saplin to distressed Lilia. <laughs> yep. It's it's catching. <laughs> um, Aurora. So while all this is happening, you're you're still watching just something moving through the flowers. Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping an eye on it. I was kind of tracking it with my 
with my eyes with my with kind of my eyes just not even really paying attention to much else right now unless I see mm-hmm. something else moving. Okay. And I think He's... I'm gonna be like hyper fixated on watching Saplin. <laughs> yep. Toe through the tulips. All right. So, what are you guys doing now? If nothing else is going to go on, then picnic time and. Can I give Saplin? It is about noon to make... at this point. Can you very what? happy to receive the flower crown from Saw. Oh, yeah. Yay. Would we have a needle and thread? Yes. Yes. I apparently have cloth. Do you think mm-hmm. I could make a pair of gloves while we're traveling for Sappy to cover mm-hmm. her hands? You could try, yeah. It. Wouldn't be too terribly difficult. Would Safi want that? I mean, I guess. I'm not I'm not exactly trying to hide it from anyone, but it might be easier than bandaging it every day. To just keep it not exposed to things. What would I use for a check to make them? Um that would be a sleight of hand because you're doing like a uh, fine needlework. A twenty, you're able to make there a beautiful pair ones. of gloves. Like you even put some, you even like stitch a little flower in. Oh, I have onto the back flowers of flowers on it. Yeah. Yay. And, and you do it kind of quickly, too. Sanitary. Question, what color are they? What color are they? What color would you like them to be, is the question. My performer's clothes are teal with gold lining. I would say probably golden gloves, then, maybe? Okay. Mm. Mm, what, Meteor? Would you... Gold is kind of a rare color. Would you have gold well, cloth? It's it's probably like a creamish color, like in that tonal spectrum, but not metallic gold. Okay, that that would be easier. Like a yeah, like okay. like a really nice gold. I'd say you probably wouldn't have that color of cloth, unfortunately. But like a yeah. creamish color gold, you probably could get away with. And at least it would keep the cut sanitary if you've got gloves on, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, uh, what Kinko said, you you barely use any fabric. You like use just enough to make the gloves. And zero mistakes in the pattern. Yeah, zero mistakes. It's just completely beautiful and like ornate, like really well done. Lilia measured twice and cut once. Apparently, I'm a seamstress in a second life. Yeah. Lilia has learned well to measure twice, cut once. Like you, you were really focused on getting this right so it could cover her hand. So you 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 were made sure you did it exactly how it needed to be. Yay. Alright. With flowers. Uh, so you guys said you wanted to set up a picnic? Yep. Alright. That's easy enough to do. Uh you lay out a blanket. Uh, are are you doing this in the flowers, or? Carrie, this was your idea. I mean, that's where we and everyone is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, did you take the horse and carriage into the flowers as well? I jumped out of the outside? cart before they were in the flowers. Right. Well, let me ask this, for Safi's opinion. Because I know setting out for a picnic would crush some of the flowers. Yeah, would I would want to go outside the flowers. Or would she want to go outside of it? I would want to go outside the flowers. flowers. Okay. Okay. Then that's what we'll do. All right. So the the horses and your picnic are set up outside the flowers. Um. All right. So you you lay out a nice blanket, set a fire. 
uh, away from the flower so none of them will catch. Yes. And you start cooking a nice meal. Callan's like, I'll cook! Can I cook this time? Oh, uh, oh, okay, sure. Thank you. No problem. Poor Callan. <laughs> Can then you I'm find try the um uh... Safi cook cuz I know her hand's been sore. Yeah. yeah, I'll ask Callan to find uh to head to the river and fill up the water flask. Okay. So I'll hand him my water flask, which is one of the expanded size ones. Could you go get some, me some water? Uh yeah, sure. Uh so the the river would be how far back? Uh, if it's super far, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say it's like a 10 minute jaunt in the carriage <laughs> oh, from well, where you are. I'd, okay. I'd ask him to, to find sticks that we could use for skewers okay. then. Okay. That's easy enough. Yeah. Give him something to make him feel useful. Yeah. Well, I'm and, just unpacking ingredients. And the river, by the way, is uh like on the other side of this uh, flower field, so you have to go through it to get to the river. Uh, okay. Yeah, so Saflin is just opening the bag of colding, and she's just pulling out some vegetables so that when okay. Callan gets back with sticks, she can put them on skewers for, like, little kebabs. Alright. So he, and, he gathers up a bunch yeah. of sticks, and he's on his way back to you, and he trips and falls and sticks it's scatter over. everywhere. <laughs> Do any of them come near me? Uh, yeah, if you do. If you land at your feet. Yeah, I'll, I'll scoop a few up and be like, thanks, Callan, this is great. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no no problem. Uh, I'll just pick these up. Sorry. Uh. And I'll uh, s slide a few vegetables and a few hunks of meat on one of the sticks and toss it to Callan so he can cook his own if he wants. Okay. Why don't you work on cooking that one while I get these other ones going? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts going to work at it. Yep. Um, so you, you make a decent meal. Uh, Callan <laughs> makes a subpar one for himself. <laughs> uh, and you all sit down to have a nice meal on the picnic blanket. Um... Aurora, you're still keeping an mm -hmm. eye on that movement, right? Yes. Okay. So as you guys are eating, you watch this movement in the flowers just slowly creeping towards where you guys are. It's just getting closer and closer. Would any um, of us happen to notice if we're It's approaching around? the edge of the flower field at the moment. Uh, what is your passive perception? So I could notice if anything was up with Aurora. Um, was my perception roll which failed, but passive Minus... for everybody? Mm hmm. 16. Mine's only an 11. 18. Or... Well, perception well. I'm very perceptive. Okay, so Sun and Curio, mm -hmm. uh, you do start to notice this movement as well. I Aurora's been keeping an 16? eye on it the whole time. Uh, the 16 does not, no. So Saffron doesn't Go notice ahead. anything. And they're just slowly. Did uh did y'all check what are do the animals have passive perception? Mm. Uh they should, yeah. What what are they? Morrow's is sixteen. And what about mm. uh Luna? How oh. do I find Wrong that? Me. Click on I just see perception plus seven. 
Uh, okay, so be, roll a d20 yeah. and d plus oh, 7. Oh, passive there. perception is 17. There you go. Luna has 17. Okay. So, would she notice? Uh, Luna would notice. She kind of perks up a little, gives a little sniff in the air, and then Curio, settles back down. Curio will proceed towards it. What is it that's approaching us again? We don't know. We don't know. There's okay, movement in them, there are flares. Yep. I'll get it. It, it has it has piqued Curio's curiosity. <laughs> okay. I'll be watching Curio, I guess, wondering where the hell he's going. Okay. I'm going to beeline straight to it. I'm going to get down on all fours and I'm going to put my tail up in the air and I'm going to stalk whatever that is. All right, Ready to so pounce. You get up and start moving towards it and the movement stops. Uh, you keep going towards it, I assume? Yes. Okay. I'm uh, going to hunker down more after it stops. You, you get over to where the movement was. How tall are these flares? I have to ask this now. Uh, they they range in size. Some of them are as big as you. Others are like flower size. So they just they're like a variety in between. I'm just imagining my party members just seeing this tail peeking up over the. Are yeah, they're, you they're doing the? Are you doing the the pre pounce cat butt wiggle thing? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they, they would definitely be able to see that over top. The The majority yeah. of the flowers are small, but there are some larger ones there as well. Like giant sunflower kind of size flowers. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, I will so you get... bounce and see what's there. All right. Um, so you're pouncing. Roll me an attack with disadvantage, please. Okay. I can do this. Small target. Oh, I'm going to attempt to grab, so I guess that's just what I would do. Uh, ta -da. So I believe that would be... Because I don't actually want to hurt if it's something bad. Mm -hmm. Well, no, if it's something bad, I want to hurt. But that wouldn't be what I'm planning to do. I'm in playful mode. So take this, but it wouldn't be with my claws out. Right. Uh, yeah, just do like an unarmed strike. It's fine. Uh, da -da. Yeah. Okay, control. There we go. I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't oh, see there anything it is. either. All right, so an 11. Yep, an 11. So you go and pounce, and you get nothing. And you're looking, and you don't see anything there. Okay. And the movement is stopped. Back in the stonk mode and listen carefully. Okay. Um, and that's, that's <laughs> what I'm going to be doing for the next 10 minutes until something moves <laughs> or they call me back. <laughs> All right, so you just sit there. And listen. Yeah, uh, my pound star is. is roll on. me perception check, please. Perception. Uh, do you have any uh modifier for listening? Probably not. Uh, don't believe so. Okay. Okay, fifteen. Uh, and I'm very perceptive. Okay. So, you you sit there in your stalking pose, just kind of listening. Close your eyes and just listen for the, the slightest meow, noise. Meow, meow, meow. And you hear a slight panting. It's not rabbit season, is it? Um... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's duck season. Pretty sure it's rabbit season. Duck season! No. Rabbit. 
Migratory bird season. The, go for the direction that I hear this in and proceed to pounce again. All right, roll me another unarmed strike to disadvantage. Now that I know how to do it. Eighteen's gonna hit. So you go and pounce to where you hear this sound coming from. Uh-huh. And you get something in your grasp. Um and there's a bit of a like ah! uh roll me strength check, please, to grapple. Yeah, he definitely fails that. All right, so you now have something in your grasp. Why is that only plus two? That you can't see. That I can't see? Yes, you are holding on to air right now. But you can feel something there. <laughs> does that Blinders. sound familiar? It Blinders. does. Okay. Is it Linus? This gotcha! And you get thunked in the forehead with a gold coin. I'm I'm gonna run out I'll of that. I'll catch the coin and let him go. Uh, I will run over <laughs> and tackle Linus. Is it Linus? It's he, Linus. He he runs off a few steps, then his invisibility drops, it, and you see Linus kind of holding his chest, like. <laughs> I'll tackle him. I'm gonna I'm hold up a him. hold up a skewer and wave it and be like, "Come join us for flinch." I wanna run and tackle Food? him. You you run over and tackle you, like, ah! and you kind of tackle him. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> How's your stealth going? Uh, stealthy! Uh huh. Come join us for lunch. Uh, uh, I'll carry Linus food? back over to some... Yes, food. Okay. Safi food. Food's not yummy. Gonna eat, not gonna eat you food, but not gonna come eat join you. us no. to eat food. <laughs> come, come have food with us. I have this one for you. You're real scary! He wanted to play. Carrying him. I will happily groom Linus. myself and prepare for dinner. <laughs> okay. I'm so Linus carrying him. I'm surprised he's not said nothing. Linus like uh cautiously walks over, kind of just like I am curious right now. Like, uh, How can he walk? I'm carrying him. Let's go pounce. Yeah, Pika's supposed to be carrying him. Oh, you're carrying oh he's him. you're carrying him. Sorry, I, I missed that. Him. Yeah, he he's kind of like holding you tightly then. <laughs> Uh, All uh, shivery. Ah, uh, food! He, he yeah. grabs some off of Callan's plate and just starts chowing down on it. <laughs> I'll just sit Linus down next to us. I'll start passing out cooked skewers of <laughs> vegetables and meat, along with some that are just hunks of meat for Luna and Morrow. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom real quick. So, yeah. Chat among your, amongst yourselves. I'm happy with pounce. I love Linus. I love Linus. Linus. Keep him, please. Why this is adorable. Keep him. He's a person, not a thing. I want to train him. To stealth? To yeah. stealth. I said this last time, I want to train him to stealth. Linus is a treasure goblin buff bud that we encountered a few sessions ago, and he likes to follow behind us with sometimes admittedly very poor stealth, sometimes pretty good mm -hmm. stealth and invisibility, and when you catch him, he yells distraction and, and gives you free gold coins and while he tries to get away. It's yep. really Because it distracts crazy. you. I mean, I got five and gold coins out of it. I'm not stealth. mad. He will also <laughs> yell stealth. Yeah, that's yeah. how you know he's being really stealthy. sneaky. Right? It's like, stealth? So Glasha yes. made a mistake earlier, <laughs> which is why Saplin is being very loose lips right now. She did not tell me to keep that a secret. Mm-hmm. I want Linus on our team. <laughs> Can we keep Callum behind? Secret? I'm confused. Yeah, uh, Glossia did not tell me that our conversation had to be a secret. Welcome back. 
So can we, he's, can we keep is it usually supposed to be secret? <laughs> it she That's she could have tried to make it a secret. It would have caused problems. Media. Yes. I want to keep Linus. That's up to Linus. I'm gonna look at Linus, but do you want to travel with us? I'll teach you style. Huh? Uh, uh. Linus solo. No, Linus get trained. He's Linus practice stealth all on his own. Linus great at stealth. Uh, Linus on, is man. getting better. I think still he'll think today, Linus. I think he'll improve more if we're not together, so that he can try to practice on us, and we'll be surprised. Yes. yes. Did you know Linus followed you this whole time? Can I swipe a gold piece from him? For how long? When did you start following us? When we met. Oh, so you kept following us. Very good. Oh, yes. For sure. Can well we done. Something like stealthing Linus. Um, and I and I will hand him a uh, another another set of flowers kind of woven into a necklace this time and hand that to him. Oh, pretty. Good job. So, uh, so why didn't song. you help us with the ghost? <laughs> uh, Linus not fire. Linus not fire? Fighter. fighter. Oh, fighter. I heard fire. I'm like, no, you're Linus. You're not the fire. The microphone clipped a little bit. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry. Uh, so, Son, you're trying to steal gold from him? I want to swipe a piece of gold from him. Uh, roll me perception. Perception. To see if you to can see, see where his gold, gold are. <laughs> yeah. He normally throws gold at us. So. Yeah, but mm -hmm. where from? Good point. Um, <laughs> sorry, um, with sorry, with disadvantage, please. <laughs> Twenty-four. Still a good roll. I was about to say. Okay. <laughs> if it did, the twenty-five is my uh, slit hand roll. So, with twenty-four. You see, his clothes are kind of ratty. Uh, he has a couple small pockets. Mm. And, like, some ratty shoes, a ratty shirt. Doesn't we look like there's a lot those. of places where he could be hiding this gold. Um, so, roll me sleight of hand to keep it in a dimension <laughs> to, uh roll me sleight of hand Very possible. to try and check him stealthily and then also roll investigation with disadvantage please all right sleight of hand and hold on i got a 14. all right sleight of hand you're definitely very stealthy about it um, yeah so a 14 Dang it. Stupid thing go away. Not you. Guys. Um so you're you're kind of like slowly putting your fingers in his pockets and like everywhere you could think that he could be storing this gold. It's not there. And you're not coming up with anything. Dang. With a fourteen, He's... unfortunately. He has a subspace pocket. I'm going to pat him on the head and say that he's a good Linus. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, God. I enjoy interactions with Linus. <laughs> Buff Bud I... says he steals your gold and gives it to you. I think he uh, does, you know. Subspace prison pocket. Oh, ew. <laughs> ew. Let's not go there. No. Definitely not that. I can I can confirm that it is definitely not that. <laughs> it may be a subspace pocket or he may be conjuring it. Either way. It's not not that. Uh, so yep. Yeah, you you do not find any gold on him. Okay, he's stealthy. I'll give him that. He's been practicing. <laughs> So, Linus, we're, yes. we're looking for Serpent Lake. Have you gone over there yet? Uh, the big lake? Uh, 
Linus not been there. Linus heard of it. Mmm. The flowers said it somewhere near here. Uh, I don't think the flowers are right by the map, but okay. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, if Linus remembers, uh, Serpent Lake, uh, he's, like, trying to get his bearing, like, which yeah, way is like which. Over here -ish somewhere. You, I thought you, we were up here. You were up here where that black circle Okay, is. we're still up there. Uh-huh. I thought we had crossed the river. Okay. Nope, you have not crossed the river. You were oh. before the river. Okay. But yeah, they told me it was over the hill or something. Something like they that. They might be talking about the river, though. No, the... Bars probably don't know the difference between river you, and lake. You described it as a large body of water. Because they didn't know what a lake was. Possible. Uh, uh, I think it's that way, like a long way. Mm. And he, he's kind of like pointing towards mountains that you can see off in the distance. Fair enough. Maybe even the other side of the mountains. Might be true. That's where we're going next. Oh. Well, I, I will stealthily follow. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you just keep yourself safe, okay? Oh, Linus always safe. Okay. Stealth? <laughs> and he disappears. Okay. I'm assuming he ate his food off of Callan's plate and he was good. Yep. I would have stuck another Stealth skewer on Callan's plate. Uh, so that he had a, a and like better that more? skewer. Yeah. He says, still invisible. I'll hand him one of the skewers that we haven't had yet. Right. And then uh, you just he see like, a floating skewer <laughs> when he grabs <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah. You, you see a, the skewer kind of lift up and disappear. Yep. He put it yeah. under his cloak. Under his shirt. And then something. as he's eating it, he drops his stealth. And you just see... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, feel hmm. free to stop in if you ever want to join us for a meal. Oh, huh? really? Yeah, I like cooking. Oh. Linus Seems might do that. better with friends. Linus. Why do you spike to that? We enjoy your company, Linus. Huh? Thank you! Linus Food enjoys Linus' company, too. Yes. Food is better with friends. Oh, yes. yes. And I Linus hope so friends. you're with him all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Linus, Linus never had friends, friends before. Linus has friends now. Oh, Linus likes it. Thank you, food! <laughs> And flowers! <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, he, he looks over at Aurora, and, like, there's, like, one bite left on his skewer, and he holds it up to him and he's like, You what? Thank you, friend. I'll, I'll take it, and I'll eat it. <laughs> Next, I'll, I'll look down, and I'll just kind of lean in. And I just kind of look at him. Like, not, like, menacingly, but, like, you'd be like, Next time, do not try and be so scary. I do not want to accidentally <laughs> hurt you, friend. Well, I just not try to be scary. Just stealthy. Yes. That. Be, uh... Be a little more careful with it. Flowers make it really difficult. Yes, they do make it very difficult, but... They also make it difficult to, for us to. I'll give a big old grin. Not know it's you. <laughs> give a grin. Uh. I just want to pat Linus on the head and say good stealthing. <laughs> oh, thank you. He's getting better. Linus should get back to that. Yes. Still? And he turns invisible yet again. And then you see the, the flowers kind of. Parting, moving as he runs away <laughs> and a, a butterfly comes and like sits on top of where he would be and it's just kind of like moving without flapping its wings as if it's sitting on something <laughs> uh, yep shoo shoo 
Yeah, Linus was the Disney princess all along. <laughs> Alright, so lunch is now over. What would you like to do next? Uh, pro proceed, honestly, towards the lake. Okay. Is there a way that we could maybe go around the flower patch without trampling all the flowers? So the, I would agree with that. The flower field goes on for quite a ways. I will ask the flowers to part to the side as much as they can where the wheels are going to be. Okay. And where the horses will be. So that we spread can out make a so path. they don't get trampled. Right. All like, right. We need to move through with the horses, but we don't want to squash you. Can you try to bend out of the way a little bit? We'll Imagine Godzilla walking through Tokyo and the buildings slowly parting. <laughs> yeah, they, they just say, we'll try. There's only so far they can move since they're rooted. But Yeah. So they, they kind of part a little bit where the wheels would go. So you can uh, do minimal crushing as right. you take your cart through the flowers. Guys... <clears throat> Please go sleepy. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna <laughs> drop out. I need sleepy. Okay, no. Okay. Is, is now a good time to stop? Um, me, dear. We can stop if you guys want. We can go, keep going a little longer. Yeah, you guys can. You guys can carry on. I just I need sleeps. It's good not night. Good night. <laughs> good night. Yep. You did have a busy day. Pika had mm -hmm. a busy day. Mm -hmm. Very, very long day. Right. Love you guys. Bye. 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 All right. So you continue through the flowers uh, with them, like, gently parting to try and give the wheels room as it goes through and to keep out of the way of the horse hooves. Squish. Yeah. They're able to... It, it does a decent job. It You still squish some, because there's only so much parting they can do, but you, you do a decent job. And you end up coming... Uh, you, you see the river uh, up ahead of you. And it, it's still this, like, rose coloring all throughout, and even the water itself looks rosy. Because of the time of day? It, no, not because of the time of day. It's still, like, pretty much, it's like one o'clock right now. So the water is rosy? Yeah. It, it's kind of similar to the, the coloring of the flowers around here. That don't seem good. Um, you've seen like rose water before, right? It, it's kind of like that. Nat naturally occurring rose water. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of mm. flowers have died in this water. All right. Uh, so it it is like a. Decently wide river, too. Does it appear to be deep? Um, roll me perception. I don't think I'm telling if it's deep or not. A nine? Uh, it's hard to tell. 26. It Probably does look kind of deep. <clears throat> is is there a land path through or a bridge we can see? Um, or possibly a shallower area. That's what I mean by land path through. Uh, roll investigation for me, please. It looks pretty deep, guys. Uh, All I know is it looks pretty deep. <laughs> uh, it. Everyone else can roll investigation to try and find 
some way through. Um, yeah, Curio's just kind of looking back and forth like, no, I don't see a way. Definitely not. <laughs> There's no way to get around this. We need to travel back. We need to find another way across. Oh. Uh, there ain't no way through this. I rolled my mm. roll for Talon as well. Yeah, I'm pulling Sans character nice sheet up. Nice roll, Aurora. Yep. Don't That's forget when to you roll 18. Aurora. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Aurora. Yes. Um, you all are kind of like looking up and down the river, trying to find a way across. And although you do not really find one, you do come across part of a river where like a tree has partially fallen on the other side and it's kind of like it, it's still rooted on land enough but the the top of the tree is kind of in the water mm -hmm. and there is a some it kind of looks like a cat on the end of it and uh, uh, on on the other side of the river, there are like two goblins. One of them is climbing out onto the tree, like trying to get the cat, while the other is just mm -hmm. like at the base of the tree. Like, uh, do you speak goblin at all? No. No. Okay. So they're they're speaking in a language that you don't understand. They're kind of yelling back and forth to each other. I kind of will point that out to, to my compatriots and be like over there they are strange creatures speaking in tongues I do not understand and there's also like a couple big rocks in the river as well uh, so what, what do you guys do now he's told you that I'm going to cast Charm Person at se at second level. Okay. Which will let me target both goblins. Okay. Um, so, oh, DC 15. Assuming that I'm close enough to do so. If not, I will move close. Um, what's the range on that? 30 feet? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, you are not close enough. I, I'd ah, say okay. the, the river is about 70 feet wide. and Ah, so I'd have to be halfway across. Gotcha. Yeah. So we'll the, do that. The nearest goblin's about 55 feet away from me. So yeah, you would know that you couldn't reach them with that. Um, a, As you're contemplating that, though... um, the... I will cast Pass Without a Trace on us. Okay. You cast Pass Without a Trace, and they, they don't seem to have noticed you at the moment. Um, what The one that's, like, climbing out on the tree, and kind of, like, he, he's getting closer to the cat, and he's, like, reaching for it, and then the branch he's on snaps, and he falls into the water. Which way is the water flowing? Um, here, Towards I... us or away? I will let you see it. Oh, that's pretty map. Yeah. Hmm. So the the branch snaps, and he he kind of gets dragged along the tree by the current. And then, close to the end of the tree, he ends up catching one. It's just kind of holding on to the tree and kind of yelling at the moment. And then the other goblin mm. is 
acting a bit worried at the moment. And he's like, uh, he, he looks a bit indecisive as to if he should climb out on the tree too. So one of them is currently in the water? Yes, one of them is currently in the water. Okay, if nobody else is going to jump in, I'm a quick mover. I can do it. Okay. Uh, and the the current does seem to be uh, not like super fast, but a bit on the faster side. I'm a quick doer. I'm not a quick thinker. So sure, why not? I don't have any way to help. I was looking. Okay. I will drop a rope out of my pack and point at it for my group and dive into the water to go save said goblin. Okay. Um, who, who do you give the other end of the rope to? Oh, nobody. I dropped the whole rope. Oh, okay. So I didn't have time to tie it. So <laughs> you're holding on to one end, but it's not tied to you. And the other end's on the ground. Yep. I'll step on the other end so that it doesn't follow him into the river. Okay. Uh, Safflin and Curio, please make me a rank oh, great. check. <laughs> just, Is it for just the a holding check. on? Or, yeah, or for holding on. That? Okay, that's athletics. <laughs> oh, it's so. athletics check then. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. It's just my athletics is better than my strength. Yeah, Same. strength or athletic. That still whichever. sucks, though. <laughs> Four. So you yep. dive into the water, and it's faster than you were expecting, and, like, the force of the water kind of jostles you, and the rope slips out. Uh, Safflin, you step on the rope, and, yeah, you're fine. You, you got it. <laughs> it. It's not slipping out. It, it does seem a little uh, limp, though. Limper than you would expect. Doesn't look seem to be any, a lot of anybody resistance. Anybody good at lassoing? Running, so... Five, ten... I have a possible solution. 15. I also have a possible solution. Um, How far away is the edge of the tree from the bank of the river where we are? 5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, 35 Edge of the tree. I can almost misty step, but not quite. Okay. Yeah, so about 40 feet. If it was 30, I could have misty stepped onto it. <laughs> um, so, Curio is kind of like struggling in the water. Um, <clears throat> and it, it's carrying you faster than you expect. Um, so, uh, roll me another athletics check, please, Curio. See if you can make it to that rock. If only I could swim better. Okay, oh, yeah, that's not bad. 14. Okay, yeah. With 14, you're able to make it far enough so that you get caught on the rock. So the water's okay. moving south on the picture? Yes. Okay. Um, and now the, the goblin who who's kind of calmed down a bit. He's just holding onto the tree while his goblin friend um, is still contemplating what to do. He ha He's very indecisive about it. Because he doesn't want to follow him. Um, question. Yes. Hold person. Is that... It will a... not keep them in place. No, yeah, it, it just holds them, them in place. As in it they paralyzes can't move. them. Yeah. It, yeah. Right. So, oh, okay. Yeah, that, that would probably... Right that would probably, yeah, it would probably make it worse, honestly. They would no longer be able to resist the current. They'd be gone. Yep. You'd drown. Uh, um. So I have a suggestion. Okay. Uh, we now have this rope. Uh, each loop of rope is 50 feet. We yep. have additional ropes. So uh -huh. what I'll do is I'll make sure I'll tie two of the ropes together. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tie one to the nearest solid surface. Okay. And I'm going to 
look at what's going on. And okay. I'm going to be like, does anyone want a quick, uh, quick jump across the river? The person uh. with the dexterity to do that would have been probably Curio. No, 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 no. Somebody who can't get across on their own. Sadly, <laughs> and this is one of the things that doesn't make sense to me, is you can be very acrobatic. But not athletic. But even though I can run and jump really fast with my movement and stuff, I can't jump because it's based on your strength. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my yeah, strength so... is an eight. Curio has a thought... plus two to his acrobat. Or not Curio. Callan has a plus two to his acrobatics, but a minus one to his athletics. Yeah, my thought is to tie an end of the rope on either one <laughs> so that y'all can use the rope to go across. But I'm going to dimension door to do it, and I can take one person of my size with me. Okay. With a running jump, I can jump 18 feet. So I can dimension door myself and someone across and tie off the rope on the other end. So that you can grab the rope to walk across, even with the current. Oreo can probably jump as far as I can without having to double his. I think so. So I'm I'm willing to Dimension Door one party with me. Because I can only take one other person. Alright, so you guys are talking this through with each other, trying to figure out, okay, if I Dimension Door, then uh, you want to grab Again, this, wrap I'm, this I'm around? I'm swimming, so... Yeah, Curio's uh, yeah, just kind of try. up I against the rock, to try. trying to stay there. Uh, the goblin I have, I have a theory. that's in the water starts freaking out. And you see the water kind of rise up around him and wrap around him. Hey, yeah, I'm and he not starts flailing. Anymore. I'm going to jump or try and clamber up onto the rock. Yeah, I I just grab Callan. Mm-hmm. So I run over to Callan. I grab Callan and be like, you're coming with me. And I will Dementor the <gasps> Ross bow over here so that I am holding the rope. So the rope is essentially going to be a line. Okay. From wherever I was able to tie it off, which I guess would be the roots over here by this tree below. Mm-hmm. And would go um, over here. And with that, I would like you all to roll tree. initiative, please. Okay. So I want that rope in place so that they can grab yep. it. I was going to do a thing. Uh, what were you going to do? I have my winged boots on. Okay. Uh-huh. I was going to fly over and give him a line. Okay. Oh, well, you could still do that. All right, so, so the yeah. the rope will definitely help if they get swept away. It'll be something they can catch on to. Right. I'm just trying to set the stage, essentially, and I knew I didn't right. have a better way of getting across. So I didn't trust my ability to hold on to the rope and not lose my grip. But the okay. rope looks like it's right there for him to be able to grab. Right. So if he gets swept through, he can grab the rope. Alright. So is there any point in me trying to get him a rope? Is that No, question. but you could still get over there. If you wanted to pull him free. Because right now he's being grabbed by the water. <coughs> so, uh, everyone go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. Oh, I wasn't clicked on myself. Sorry, oh, Meteor. I wasn't either. He, he has to oh, manually crap. put them in anyway. Hang on, I have to... Yeah. I keep rolling so horribly. I'm at the bottom of the turn order, which makes sense, considering I just dimension door it. Because I rolled a nat one. didn't have the encounter set up properly, either. Okay, now yeah, run it. All right, so you got ten. Saflin a four. Aurora gets a four. Alan gets a 
10. Uh, here we go. Your dex is... What? High enough. I have an 18. 18, okay. So I'll bump you to 11. Callan's 10. Yeah, Callan is lower than me. Sun is 12. Celia is 19. 19. Yeah, I can zoom across the battlefield, move 80 feet, but without spending anything, I can jump mine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. All right. I'll be right back. Which is weird because monks are supposed I'm really to be low on turn order, so I'm assuming yep. it's fine that I'll be gone in a minute. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so Lilia, you're top of the turn order. Uh, the the water is appears to be like actively trying to pull this goblin away from the tree, like up and away. Okay, so what I'm going to do is quickly grab into my bag for my rope, mm -hmm. tie a loop big enough to hopefully for him to get over his body mm -hmm. at one end and take off flying, try to dangle it over to his head. Be like, grab on. She's please. going to do an aerial rescue like a helicopter. <laughs> I don't think I can lift him, but be like, <laughs> grab on and then. Once, hopefully, he grabs it, land on the other side, and start pulling. Okay. It's right, like right. a snake. So go ahead and so basically move where you can. I would... So I can go up to... It says I can go... 30 while flying, right? Let me see. What is your movement speed while flying? It descends at 30 feet. I, do, I don't have a movement speed while flying. So I'm, my walking is 30 feet. What item is it? The wing uh, boots. Wing boots. It doesn't have a flying speed, so it would just be equal to my walking speed. You have a flying speed equal to your walking speed, is what it says. Yes. yes. Okay, and your movement speed is what? 30. 30, okay. So, so you can fly I 30 feet. So technically, or could I say I'm dashing? Yeah, you, you could can. dash. Yes. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if the rope thing would be an action or a free action. Because you're getting it out and tying a loop. See, that's why I was saying I wanted to do that before we started initiative. To okay. start that. Okay, we'll say you got it out, tied the loop before initiative. <laughs> and... So you have it now, it and rolled. you can use your dash. Okay. Yeah. So, I would, like, drop it on him as I'm passing over and be like, grab this! Okay. And then land next to Callan and Saflin and be like, can you help to pull type of thing. Okay, so go ahead and move to where you can get to. So, let's see. You can stay in the air over it. You don't have to land on the ground. Yeah, you don't have to descend. You get to fly for Correct. several hours. For up to four hours. Yeah. So it's up to you. You can stay flying yeah, so over I like would 20 move feet. to like 
unless I go to be over him and then see if I can toss the rest of the rope to somebody else. Would you that could also work? just continue holding it. Hold, yeah. yeah. So give me one second. Where I was here. Because so you could a, just, yeah. I'll just, I guess I'll just hover here and then instead of using the dash and be like, grab on and just like try to hold it and try to pull. You may even have a better time pulling from straight up, you know? Yep. You wouldn't be fighting the current to pull across that way. Does okay, he so... grab onto my rope? So you drop it down for him. He currently is holding on to the tree with both hands, actively trying not to get pulled away by the water. You have to lasso him next turn. You can lasso. Yeah, he You've can't change this. his grip until he, until his turn comes in order. Yep. Okay. So, so at the moment, you have dropped I'm... it down for him. Okay, here's the question then. Since I'm floating, mm -hmm. can I technically fly over and place it over his body if I can? You could try, try as that. Water close. That would be an acrobatics check, I think. Or sleight of hand. One of the two. Both the same, so I'm going to try acrobatics. 22. Nice. Okay. Can so, with again? ease, <laughs> you you go over top of him and just, like, you kind of line it up and just drop the end of the rope, and it goes right around his head. This is when her boots suddenly pop out a, tardy, a targeting reticle, and she can just look straight down through it. <laughs> So currently, it is on his head. And he will have so to... If he accidentally let go, let's go. He's choking. <laughs> That's not good. Only the way is going to suffocate, so... Yeah. But it can't really go farther than that, because his arms are out, so it's not going to go, like, down around his waist or anything. But at least he has an but... easier time grabbing it now. It's not yeah. floating in the water or hanging way over him. It is on his person. Okay. Okay. I, I, I will leave it like that. I'm not going to do anything with Luna. She can't really do much. Okay. And I'll just sit here floating. All right. So that ends your turn then? Yep. All right. So next up. Um, Curio. Uh huh. From underneath of you, the water starts to rise up and wrap around you. Okay. And it is attempting to uh, grapple you. There's monsters. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that. So, they do blend be... a little bit. They are a little blendy. That's good, they're supposed All right, to. Alright, so 15. Uh, yeah, it's it, not contesting. It, yep, so it starts to wrap around you, and you are able to, like, wriggle out of it and kind of uh, get out of its grip. Okay. Uh, Is it slimy water or just wet water? Um... It it's oddly, I, I I'd say it's a bit slimy. Okay. I have no clue what these are. It's just something. But I was wondering if there's a textural difference between the water and the water. There, there probably is a slight difference, but not much. It it's like, it looks exactly like the water around it. It it's the same like rose coloring, and everything. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's going to end its turn. Uh, San, you... Oh, San is up, so... 
Uh, does anyone have that up, or do I need to do that? I think the person I have, that stepped away. I have the sheet up, but I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I don't know that. Yeah, that there's anything Sun can Most do. Most of the in stuff this that she does is melee, so right. she can't reach. So Even Son... with the tattoo, it only adds fifteen feet. Oh. Yeah, you you didn't take her with the dimension door, did you? No. Son's gonna run up to the edge. And. Because it's out of range. Mm hmm. No, I took Callan with me because everybody was waffling. And I had to move. I was trying. She's gonna attack the water. That she can okay. do. Yep. She's gonna take out her scythe and just start. Uh, hitting the water with it and say, You let my friends go! Splash, splash. I mean, and... she could also dash, but I don't know that it would help. <laughs> yeah. And... She could use her cloak of the bat. Uh, she could. And fly across. That's true. Isn't it in the dark, though? She would have to find a spot with dim light or darkness. Which, I mean, there's a happen? tree right there. While wearing the cloak in an area of dim light or darkness, you can use your action to cast Polymorph, yeah, transforming okay. into a bat. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to end her turn. So, okay. Curio, you are up. And the problem is, if you're no longer in the dim light, you lose flying, so you have to stay that way. Uh, does she? Yep. I didn't see that. Yeah, uh, okay. as, as a bat, she she's basically using both her hands to grip the the cloak to oh, turn yeah. into a bat. Oh yeah, if you're no longer in dim light or darkness, you use flying speed, lose flying speed. Okay, yeah, I didn't read yep. that part. Uh, I am going to try and clamber up onto the rock here. Okay. Um, it is. Rather slippery because it's covered in water. Um, so slippery balance, I'm good at. Yeah, jumping, I suck at. I mean, Son does have a sling think... for ranged attacks. Yeah, I, I think he'd be able to do that pretty easily. I so also I won't have a climb speed. Anything. So yeah, yeah, that's that's true. So <laughs> climb speed. Yeah, yeah, you're able to get up on the rock with ease. So, Meteor, mm -hmm. oh, I'm kind this. of imagining with how I did the rope mm -hmm. that it's pretty taut. Like, you could treat it as a tightrope almost. Mm -hmm. So just putting that out there. Okay. So, it's a 50-foot rope, right? Uh, I tied two ropes together. Oh, two ropes, so 100 feet? Yeah. All right, so you have a little bit more give. Yeah, I would have... I can't. I couldn't move the line after I drew it, but I would have attached it to the tree to one of the Is branches. Is the water still swirling up out of the water? Um. Currently, the the water next to you is kind of up in sort of like a tentacle shape. Okay. In I front want of to you. Kick it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me an attack. Twenty six. That's definitely gonna hit. All right, so nine slashing damage, and another one for six. Okay, so. So you, you put your claws into it, and it doesn't feel like it's doing as much damage as you expect it to. Okay. <clears throat> but it does damage it. Slightly. There's there's definitely something about this water. It's there, but it's not on water. I mean, I don't think normal water attacks you, so you, you might be onto something there.
Okay. I don't believe... Oh, and uh, just in case it matters, if it does, mm -hmm. uh, my unarmed strikes do count as magical for the purpose of overcoming resistance or immunity. So if something needs magical damage to damage it more, I do overcome that, but it's specifically damage. It won't undo something that's like resistant to slashing. Okay. It's just stuff that requires, normally it's it'll require a magical weapon or something. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, I'm seeing if I have other options. I think I get three attacks now, is that right? Um, possibly. If not, I think you can use key to do another one. Sorry, it's been a while. When you use the attack action, yeah, I actually get three without using key, because I get okay. two two attacks with uh, because of my level anyways. Yep. Yeah, you get multi so, attack now. Go ahead and roll a third, then, if you want. Uh, or extra attack, rather. Uh, make a con save 14. Constitution 14 saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Seventeen. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to do my other attack. What? Ah, natural 20. Yeah. So automatic crit. Um, for five damage. <laughs> for, yep, five damage. That's my turn. Okay. Next up is the one that currently is wrapped around the goblin. Um... So I'm going to have the goblin roll a strength check with disadvantage. Dex, if it's dex, is higher. Not dex, if it's dex, is higher. If it's resisting the grab. Um, it is currently... So the, the creature is trying to pull it away from the tree right now. Oh, right. It is right around it. Never mind. Yeah. So it, it's trying to hold on to the branch. Yeah. And with Makes a five, sense. that is not going to hold on. So. Does he start getting that. strangled by the lassoed rope and instinctively reach for his neck <laughs> and catch hold of it? All right. So... So how the, far up was she? It's going to start pulling away. Um, Lilia, roll me a strength check as well to try and hold on to the rope that is currently wrapped around the goblin's neck as this creature is pulling it Thanks. away. Yeah, strength check. Wow. That's stealth. <laughs> That's not strength. <laughs> that's that's stealth. stealth. Still, she rolled oh, 20. Stealth. Crap. My brain, What's your strength? Uh... What's your strength modifier? The plus. Uh, where do I roll that? In the, you not in the saving throws. No, it would be on the actual strength attribute. There. So she had a head of 20. Okay. Yeah, it would so... have been a 20. Just a straight 20. Okay. All right. But it so... was critical. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a crit. It, it is a critical moment to hold on to the rope. So it, it's starting to pull it away, and you have it wrapped around its neck, and it the rope is kind of slipping through your fingers, and you're just, like, really holding on. Uh, how high up are you? I would probably just... Or my thought would be hovering above... So like five feet. Water. Yeah, if that. Okay. All right. So there would be some give on that. Um, 
while I'm fighting with it, could I rest. try and wrap it around my body and tie it to myself? The other end? Um, that would be something you would have had It's an to... action you do yeah, on your that, turn. Yeah, that's an action yeah. you would have to do on your turn. Okay. Um, so it gets about to here before the rope gets taut and you're holding it back and it, it's like struggling to move forward. Does she get an attack of opportunity to kick it? Um, As it moves away. Since she said she was just over the water. You can yeah, either use your range. reaction to hold onto the rope like that or attack it, I think. Good idea. You're, you're going to be doing one or the other. So, which would you like to do? Hold onto the rope like that is in tying it around myself? Uh, no, no, like as making... In that strength just, check. As in to make sure you could hold it yeah. against the strength check, or you could have attacked it, whatever it was. Do I know what I'm attacking is the question? It It looks like the water. It's just like a, a water tentacle is what it looks like. But that would mean letting um, go of the rope. Yeah, I think I would just try to hold on to the rope and okay. hope for the best. Okay. So, <laughs> you hold on to the rope. It gets to about here and is struggling to move forward because you have a rope around this goblin's neck and the goblin's like... Ah, ah, ah. So, Let's serve two evils. Uh... So it's actually going to back up a little so that it's uh, no longer, so that the goblin is no longer being choked. And then it is going to submerge and pull the goblin down into the water with it. And the rope, unfortunately, is going to float on the water and slip off of the goblin's neck. Because it wasn't tied yet. Yep. Next thing you see is the goblin uh, getting chucked onto the land. Wait, it helped it? Yeah. And that brings it to Callan's turn. Oh. oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, Callan, come on. <laughs> Early certain you are Callan. I know we're all tired, but I didn't know you were that tired. Uh, uh. Okay. We're, we're over here! We're over here uh, and we have uh, a rope. Wait, what? What do I do? Why am I over here? Because we didn't know if the thing in the water was bad or not. Okay, so... Attack it, then! Or if you have a way to help Curio, yeah. Either one. Uh... Magic stone! Okay. He's going to uh, launch an attack at uh, at the one closest to him, I think. Which the tree is kind of blocking it so that well, so it's going to count as cover. So he's going to roll. A natural 20. So cover doesn't matter. He's going to do... Double dice, double plus. We'll double dice anyways. Uh, seven... Uh, bludgeoning damage. Good 
he's gonna miss. It's gonna be awesome if you just skipped it over <laughs> the water. You know, run the pebble at the water. Which is gonna be reduced to three. <laughs> that would have been funny, yeah. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And that's gonna end his turn there. So next up. Okay. There we go. And we do that. So, uh, Curio, another water tentacle appears in front of you. Uh, and that is going to end its turn. So, Aurora, you're up. Okay. Okay, dog. Did oh, we boy. all see what happened with Goblin? Uh, yeah, you all can see what happened with Goblin. Yep. Well, um, I'm just gonna... Well, let me get my movements set up here. I'm going to move on over to this rope for a moment. Okay. And let me check something real quick here. Mm -hmm. um, so the tentacles are just like tentacles? Uh, yeah, they, they, they look like tentacles made of water. Okay. Basically. Then I'm gonna go ahead and prep uh, my my uh, brand my branding spite smell. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it yet, but I'm gonna prepare it so I have it at hand. Okay. Yep. So you gonna ready to use it if you need to. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> All right. What is your trigger condition? If the tentacle attacks. If the tentacles attack. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, Saffron, it's your turn. So I've got my rope bridge essentially done, my, my rope. Um, I will expend a charge of comprehend languages on my staff of charming. Okay. So that I can now understand the goblins if they continue speaking in goblin language. Okay. That'll be my action. And as a bonus action. I understand the language. So it doesn't make you speak it, but you can understand no, it. No, I can understand it, though. I can hear it. Okay. I hear it literally, so I don't get context. Okay. Literal translation. Okay, cool. Um, and I will use my bonus action to trigger my mantle of inspiration. Okay. Which is going to be limited in its effectiveness because I can only affect people that are within 60 feet of me, which anyone across the river is no longer. Okay. So it'd be Lilia, uh, Curio, Lilia, Callan, Curio, and, and the Callan, yeah. Uh, I'll give it Barely to Curio. Curio and Lilia. Okay. Just because if Lilia uses it, she'll get her reaction back literally right after I go. Okay. So zero loss for her. And Curio's already shoot. Uh... I don't think he would Well, he'll have the option of whether or not he wants to spend the reaction, but either way, they get the bonus hit points. Okay. Um Oh yeah, I'll have to use the reaction. Yeah. Um and then um 
Yeah, sorry. I'll target those three. Okay, sorry, real quick. I forgot mm -hmm. the creature that Callan attacked was under the water, so ah. which he wouldn't have been able to see it then, so he would have attacked the one next to Callan instead. So I'm just going to change that. Okay, so he was attacking the one over here? Yeah. Uh, the, the other one. That one wasn't visible yet? Yeah, that one. Okay. That's fine. Sorry, just slight difference. Yep, so I will Mantle of Inspiration. And it doesn't specify that it has to be an ally. It's just creatures that I can see and that can see me. Right. So I will also grant it to one of the goblins. Okay. To the one that just got dropped on the shore. Okay. And that does what? They will get uh, eight temporary hit points. Okay. And they can choose to use their reaction to move up to their speed without provoking an attack of opportunity. Okay. They can just immediately move up to their speed. Perfect. Okay. This one is going and to... Yeah, and I'll call out while I'm doing that. Hey, get away from the water. <laughs> okay, so that, that one's going to run to there. Technically... Yeah, you could. Yes, you can use it because could... you'll get your reaction back literally on your turn. So, yeah, it's zero loss for you. And this one. So you can go either way. So if you wanted that. to go back across and help someone else across, you could do that kind of thing. However you want to do this. Okay. If well, you want to go to determine, Curia, you could do that. <laughs> this will determine what's about to go on. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm going to prepare to get a running start. So I'm going to step on this side of the rock. Okay. Does anything happen when I do so? No. Well, okay. You, you don't, actually... there are no attack of opportunities if you use your reaction the way I'm doing it. Oh, okay. That's part know. of the trait of this. You don't provoke attacks of opportunity. So I'm going to fly over towards Curio is. And since my rope is now no nothing's on it, d dangle it down to him. Okay. Can I just grab onto you? Yeah, but I don't okay. think I'd be able to lift uh, you. I will. <laughs> what are you going to do <laughs> with the rope? Well, right lift now you. it's just movement. <laughs> Like, we're resolving the reaction movement right now. Okay, I'll grab the rope then we're in the process of running the jump. Um, okay. Five, ten. Then that's as far as I can jump out. Okay. All right. uh, is Callan going to move at all? Is he happy where he is? Um, Callan's going to stay there. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody has moved, so that would be the end of my turn. So it would go to Lilia. All right, Lilia, you're up. Okay, so then I guess my goal would be to... I can fly to here. And could I say I'd be pulling... Curio with me? Um, you can. That'll take double movement, though. Right, you go half speed if you're bringing anyone along. You can use your feline agility. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> um, Where is it? Let's see, feline agility... It doubles her movement is what it does. Yep. Yes. I feel like that's a land-based thing, though. I don't know if no. that would work in the air, would it? The boots it doesn't, are based, it doesn't say. The boots are based on your land walking. speed anyways. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're kind of just, like, running in the air as if you're stepping. <laughs> yeah, all out. All out. Yep. It doesn't give its own move, movement speed for flying. It, it makes it the same okay. as what your movement speed yeah. is. Okay. They're so doing the Howl's I'm Moving Castle him. thing. If I'm tugging him with me, would he be closer to me? Um, if you're pulling in the rope, yes, yeah, so I'd be basically yeah, he... dragging you across, all right, so yeah, uh, how but much slack are far... you giving it? How much slack are you giving it? 
basically it would be to the point where it is tight with him. So she is trying. So to you're drag... wanting him to be like right I'm under you while you're dra- doing. It. I'm trying to drag him across. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's as far as I can go. All right. Uh, do you want to dash? I use my feline agility. So feline agility is no action. It's your your racial inborn trait. It's not yeah. a. It doesn't cost anything to use. It's a freebie. But that means I can go my double the speed, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, Which... you get uh, your normal movement uh, instead of it being instead of it being halved. Yeah. And with that, which you is, would get double is... that. So you don't take a penalty from Dragon Curio, basically. Okay. So then, if that's the case, because I moved thirty, I could basically get up on the shore. Yeah, you can move thirty more. Yeah. I'm just going to go to the shore. Okay. And pull him up. Okay. Okay. How do I get Luna over? The same way. <laughs> well, All right. They are, there is now a rope that they can use to more easily get across, but they will still have to make it across. All right. So, so does that can, end your you turn? You can go back and forth. You, you have now... Become the banana boat. <laughs> I was going to say, we do have that paintbrush set. Can I... we make something? What's a paintbrush set do? I mean, it's the marvelous pigments you paint something into existence, but oh. I have to be able to paint it. And there's a limited amount of space that I'm allowed to use per pot mm-hmm. of paint, I think. I don't know that it would quite cover it. How about a basket to go with the rope? Just pull people back and here. forth. Doesn't... Mm. Alright, so Lily, is that the end of your turn? I think the water is friendly. It didn't attack me when I moved away from it. Yeah, yes, I'll send another that guy that's on the, onto the shore. Yep. Yes, I know. Yeah, I can't effect, exactly go back across. Said. Okay. I can't right. make it all the way across, so. All right, so. Unless how far could I still get? I could probably get to here. Okay. All right, so that brings it to this one's floating. turn. It's going to kind of move this way. It's going to, like, do a little waving motion. And then it is going to disappear under the water. Mm-hmm. Uh, which brings it to Sun. And Sun's just confused wants to attack things but isn't sure if she should attack or not so she's just gonna kick, kick the water yeah, can you try to cross uh uh how should i do that i Grab there's a the rope, rope and pull. between oh, the two rope, banks right Grab the rope and what about the horses the and, and travel what about the horses yeah that's that's i'm not sure I'm not sure how we're going to deal with the horses. Or the cart. Tether them up. Alright, so Sun is going to grab the rope and attempt to kind of pull herself across a little bit. Uh, What's her movement speed? Trying to figure out if as far as I know, everyone except foot. me is 30. All right. So she can get to there. Okay. There we go. All right. Just Cheerio, you're home. up. I'm going to spend my entire turn shaking and getting all the water off myself. Okay. 
Uh, I honestly don't know what else to do other than secure the rope and make sure. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Shake off and then make sure the rope that Kellen and Zephyr has secured over here is well secured since people are starting to use it to carry across. Okay. Alright. Then that one's gonna pop up. And it's going to come over to San. And it's just kinda gonna sit there behind her, kinda watching her. But it's not gonna do anything. I imagine in its head it's holding a pom pom and shaking it. <laughs> it's uh, the lifeguard water tendril, making uh -huh. sure she doesn't slip. All right. Well, let me ask is there anything anyone else is wanting to do? Or should we take this out of initiative? Or... I just basically want to try and get Luna I across. I think they're not hostile. At the moment, they yeah, are not attacking. Yeah, I don't yes. think they're hostile. Can I try a thing? Yeah. Uh, right. I'm going to take it out of initiative order, so whoever wants to try something can try something. Um, Sorry, I'm just I'm getting tired speak of Speak with animals. <laughs> can I try and talk with the... Um, Water they tendrils? don't appear to be animals, unfortunately. Okay. No beasties. So I don't get an answer from it. Correct. So you can ask it whatever you want to ask it, but... So what What do you ask it? Or what do you say to it? I was just going to be, just going to try and be like, first, like, hello? It, it kind of looks something. at you... Slightly confused, but waves its tendril back and forth a little. Uh, in the meantime, San is uh, trying to pull herself across. Uh, and this one is just kind of moving with her. Oh, whoops. Don't do that. Nope. As she's going. Uh, I'm going to have San... Do a strength check to see if she can hold on. She can wrap her arms and legs around it and everything else from the start. Uh, she would still be in the... Uh, I, I don't imagine the, the rope is very high above the water. Okay. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so You'd yeah. You'd still be she, walking she's still in, in the water if you're holding the <laughs> rope at normal height. Yeah, and she, she currently cannot touch the bottom. So it it's a deep river. So. Now imagine yeah. Moru can doggy paddle. Yeah. 11. I mean, yeah. Sun all of a sudden slips off. And this one grabs her and the the one that was waving to you uh kind of brings attention to son as they both escort her across and deposit her onto the shore i'm imagining Wonder. how the ocean did moana in that movie yeah, yeah. it's yeah. very it's the... very much like that yes I wonder if, if we tried tendrils. to get the poor horses across, if we'd just have a bunch of tendrils try to carry the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they'd be able to help us. You can definitely they try. They help the horses, but does it mean guarantee that they will help the uh, buggy? Yeah. Uh, at this point, the, the two goblins, they are booking it. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, what about the cat? I'll wave. What about the cat? That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, cat is gone to... as well. 
The cat disappeared halfway through. With, with all the splashing and uh, commotion, it bolted. It just kind of went leap, 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 leap. Got back to shore and bolted. So the most dangerous thing that happened to that goblin was Lilia. <laughs> Fine. So there, there are currently three watery tentacles, just kind of staring at you guys, hanging out. Uh, w one is looking at Lilia, just kind of waving still. Come on in, Aurora. The water's good. Okay. Yeah. Literally. Fly over. Grab Luna. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, once everybody's across, if we could grab the rope back, just so we can still have the rope. Didn't well, you what do we do the about rim? the horses? Well, we would be tying up the horses over there, or asking the water if they can bring them over. Um. So if, uh, yeah, Lilia can untie the rope so you can get that back. Um, the water Let's would have escorted. Two. Aurora over, if he was pulling himself ben over. Morrow. Yep. Uh, a anything that goes in the water, they they would be kind of surrounding, uh, and just kind of making sure that they definitely appear to be nice creatures. They're lifeguards. Creatures. And they they are just making sure <laughs> that you get across safely. Are we going to bind the horses in the carriage on the other side, since we can't really bring it with us? Which is unfortunate, because well, our... it looks like we still had a ways to go. Are we going to try and see if we can get the horse and carriage across? That's what I'm asking. I would, I would ask the water, not necessarily expecting a response. And ask, is there a way to get the horse and the cart across? And see if anything happens. Lead the horses and the right, carriage so, to the water and so see who, if they suddenly who is run asking away. That? that was me. Okay. It's happy. Can we move Moro across? Yeah. Um, I so more yeah, you get move further down here if it's easier. To you ask. get their attention, and they, uh, they they kind of have all their eyes on you as you're talking in their direction. What what are you saying to them? Horse, can you help get the horses and cart across? Uh, they look slightly confused by what you're saying. Point at the your... horses. Can you bring the horses up next to me and I'll have them standing by the water on this side? Okay. Um, so you're you're kind of like trying to mi mime at them horse over here type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Pointing yeah. at me. Roll me persuasion. Can I point it over by the horse? Okay. Yeah, roll me persuasion. 23. Not bad. Okay. Uh... You're able to kind of mime pretty pretty well, like horse, swim, tear, uh, and they kind of look at each other and then start going over this way. And I'll be petting the horse really nicely. Yeah, they, you can speak with them. animals with the horses. Yeah, true. That you, you do have speak with animals up right now, so. It yep. is up. Um, so the two of them kind of bend over to the edge, like, and they, they seem to be wanting the horses to step on them while the other one waits next to it. Okay. So I, should I unhitch the horses? I mean, do you want to try the bring the cart? I guess. Try. Uh, I guess try and lead it on with the cart. Then I guess I'll get up onto the cart and try and drive them on. I don't know. Okay. 
I mean, talk talk to them and yeah, they'll the, probably listen. The horses seem very unsure about this at the moment. They're nice enough horses. I've talked to them before. Just mm -hmm. explain to them what's happening. Calm the horses. So what what yeah, are you so saying I'll to be, them? I'll be petting the horses, but just be like, just careful. Let's try this. I've got you. We've got you. Just right. trust. Let's Tell them what to works. do. Roll me persuasion just... with advantage, since There's you no are actually to worry speaking about. to them. Mm -hmm. Where is persuasion? There it is. I'm not very good at this. I feel like my voice good is enough. probably sh shaky-ish, okay. but... That's a really good roll. It, it is. Uh, roll again for the advantage, though. Oh, yeah. I remember average, 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 completely average is okay. a 10. 17 not bad. You managed to convince the horses to step onto these creatures. And as they get fully onto it, and the, these are big creatures, so the, the horses actually do fit on top of them. What about the carriage? Um, so, so far only the horses are there. The, the two creatures with the carriage are kind of like this at the moment. Okay. So they, they start slowly pulling it. Carriage might be, uh, into the water. The third one's for. And the third one gets underneath of it and kind of pushes up on the yep. bottom of it. Try and carry it over. As they very slowly and cautiously drift it over. <laughs> Alright, so clear a spot for them to come ashore. And Aurora and Song. Then the horses the jaunt over to the other side. There we go. And then they they perk up again and sort of like do a little wave. Yay. Thank you. I'll wave back at them and just like kind of like bow. I don't know. I'll if place they know what I'm a doing. Uh, I'll place a flower crown into the water. Okay. Lily, uh, hmm? could could you heal that one there? It's a little. I, I did catch it pretty good with my claws. Which one? I will point at a random one because I've lost <laughs> track. Uh, unless yeah, you, unless the water is obviously bleeding. Yeah, you're not sure when when they go I'm in. Definitely not sure when they go okay. in the water. You cannot see them whatsoever. They turn com. It, it's as if they're turning invisible. Uh, they they completely match the water when they are inside of it. It just they made me feel better. Probably That's why heal I themselves, but. Okay. Thank, thank you. You're, you're welcome too. Is there <laughs> anything that I can see in the water, like on the floor of the uh, the river? I know the water's moving pretty quickly, but can I see to the bottom? Deep. Roll me perception, please. Would I be able to tell with a medicine check if one is injured? Um, you can roll a medicine check with disadvantage. Because it's very difficult to tell since they just look like water. 26, Perio. So you, you're, you lean like really close to the water and are like trying to peer through. I highly doubt it. And you, you can barely make out at the bottom of the river like flowers sort of like just waving back and forth at the bottom of the river like rose-colored flowers. Well, I will mention this to Safi. Safi, there's some flowers at the bottom of the river, too, waving. But oh, neat. Anything it, it, else? They're kind of like w swaying with the water. Uh, uh, that That's all you really see. Like You see rocks and okay. other things that you'd normally find at the bottom of a river. Okay. Um... Lilia, with your medicine check with a ten, yeah, you no, you really can't tell, tell if which one's hurt, <laughs> if at all. I can't tell which one's hurt. 
Curio. It's okay, so, neither can I. Did any of them approach the flower crown or did they just let it oh, go? Oh, yes, sorry. Down the river. Um, uh, this Either way one is fine. leans over to the flower. As you put it in the water, it catches it and kind of, uh, it like raises it up on its tentacle and it, it's kind of wearing it. <laughs> It, it it's That's not like cute. wearing it like a crown, but it's just right. kind of like around just what kind of could right. what could be its neck. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just kind of holding it and Figured swaying back and forth. If nothing else, they'd have fun playing with it. Yep. <laughs> uh, it tosses it to to this one over like here, yeah. and it it like catches it around its neck and Ring is kind of just swaying back and forth with it. And yep. yeah, they they kind of just toss it back and forth with each other and play with it. <laughs> Good. That was all I wanted. Question: <laughs> Do they have a language? Um, you're not sure. They could. Only I had comprehend languages up. Uh, they they don't. They have not spoken anything. Okay. Yeah, I'll say that. I did have comprehend languages up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say I have tongues. I wonder if I could touch one of the, like, reach up my hand to touch the tentacle and if it would be able to, but if it, it's if it speaks. But it's not spoken this entire time, even when we were trying to speak to it. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, any would spoken language work? it hears. Speaks any creature that knows at least one language and can hear the target understands what it says. I mean, okay. if uh, Kellen used telepathy, they would hear it in the language that they're used to. That's true. But for um, message, they would still oh, hear yeah. it in whatever language you spoke. <laughs> I forgot I can do that. <laughs> so Kellen want to say thank you for us. He he's going to telepathically say thank you to them. They're all going to immediately turn to him. And be like, what the hell was that? Be like, <laughs> and then uh, like, go up to him and just kind of like reach over and like brush his cheek and then back up. He does not hear anything back. Okay. It definitely yeah, I would seemed... imagine they would have the most posh British accent ever. It definitely seemed like they understood him that time. Yay. Okay. Before all uh, before they stop selecting Lilia. <laughs> We're all diving back into the water and disappearing. Whoosh. Did they take the flower crown with them? They took the flower crown with them. You kind of see Yay. the flower crown floating up the river Good. against the current. <laughs> I want to know what those things were. Right. Well, they were helpful. That is where we're going to end it for end. the day. All right. Oh, God. So that, that was a fun episode. We got devil deals yeah. and a field of flowers and some water tentacles. So... Be sure to tune in next time, next week, to see what happens next. And thank you for watching. Yes. Thanks for listening. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.